Mike, Mike, Mike. Yeah, you know I mean, all right. I'm checking, make sure everybody good. Everybody good. It's a new year, bro. Don't start your shit, all right. Oh yeah. Tell y'all how I'm giving it up. Uh. Mike, check. On. <laughs> how you uh on, on uh. Tevin Campbell? Cause this shit should have some bars on it. Happy New Year, everybody out there. This the vibe I'm on right now. Hey! Yeah, hey made it into 2018. Yes, that still means the party's about to get amplified. Welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast, episode number 143. I'm your host, Joe Budden. We are here. Uh, I want to shout out to everybody in the room. Shout out Rory's here, Maul is here, Parks is here, Savon is here, Brandon is here for some strange reason, and new Chris Brown is here. How's everyone doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Huh? 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 What's up, more, 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 more? Nah, not 2018, my nigga. We offered out the, the phone. I, I need up, you live. You I need you now. live and attentive, my nigga. I don't need all that. I mean, niggas don't have phones out when Puff is talking. <laughs> You're not Puff. <laughs> <laughs> niggas not staring in their phones when Puff is talking, all right? Puff isn't here. Oh, I didn't stop this. <laughs> Damn it! See, ah, I need I need assistance. <laughs> All right, let's stop this. Microphone check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. We are new, live. New, new Joe Biden. I guess new I have to Joe play you oh, oh, I think Trey. Yep. I think Trey could give me twenty minutes. We left that in two thousand. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> my bad. Wait, that's, that's the wrong guy. <laughs> this really yeah, right. starting off the really year. Little stupid drop. No worry, I'm All right, welcome everybody. How's everybody feeling? Y'all up and alert. Y'all up and alert. What's up? Niggas looking tired. Niggas looking sleepy. We good? I I'm not tired. starting my new year tired and sleepy, all right? I need the energy live in the room. I need everybody up and attentive and alert. You know what I mean? We here. Man, get the fuck out of here. God, <laughs> <laughs> he can't go back to I, Miami. What you talking about, man? What happened? I don't know. I'm just asking what are you talking about? Maul, how are you? I'm great. I haven't seen or spoken to you since, since my new position. So oh. you may be unaware how things are going to go in the 2018. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even feeling how this is starting already. How was your New Year's? It was cool, man. How was yours? It was cool. We gonna get into mine. What'd you do? Just chill. Nothing major. Kept inside. It was Why? just pause. It was too cold. That. Everybody too cold, says bro. they just chilled. We it was were too in cold, Miami. bro. It was cold in Miami. No, nah, it wasn't cold like it was here. Yeah. Of course not. All right, so you can't say it was cold in Miami. You couldn't go outside here. If you would have had some socks on with them loafers, maybe you'd have been a little warmer, but. <laughs> I was in Miami dressed like I was in New York. Scully on, scarf, nah. jacket. Well, yeah, you do have your ankles out. Up. Yeah, I, yeah, I like to be warm. I like, I like to keep it, you know? All right, so you ain't do shit. No, nah, I ain't do shit. What parks do? You went to the Apple party. store. I did. I had a party here. Hey. It was lit. We had hookah. All right, it all was right. lit. We had hookah. <laughs> we the had. hookah was lit. <laughs> all right, all right. That was that sounds exciting. All right, all right. Brandon, you did anything? I ain't do shit. I you was just in the crib chilling. All right, enough. You niggas is losers. <laughs> all right, well, does, does, does anybody have something exciting to say, or are me and Rory just gonna take it away from here? Yeah, take it away. Uh, we watched you on uh, the stream a little bit. Seemed like you were having a good time dancing by yourself on the floor. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Remember dancing. Yeah. Remember dancing at a party? I know that sounds like ancient history in New York, but people used to dance. The people that they just enjoy music. And D-Nice was in his bag at that party. Mm. Would you would you say so, Rory? I, I would. You were there, nigga. Jump in and say something. I, I was waiting it. for you to uh, give your grand juggle talk about no, no, this no, evening. No, that's a separate topic. <laughs> that's a, you don't you see. You don't dictate when the juggle mm. when the juggle gets to expressing himself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yo, we're not about to call you that. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, we're that's not, not how we're leading. I'm trying to stick to New Year's New Year's Eve. So nobody did shit. I didn't know Miami on New Year's Eve was a thing. Let's start there. I didn't know that that's what everybody was doing. What's warm there? Uh, Miami. What else is a thing on New Year's Eve? Vegas? Probably. What else is, is a Vegas thing? Is Vegas a thing? LA is a thing just because LA is a thing. I mean, New York is a thing, but New it's York too fucking cold. Yeah. I like that it's cold in New York. Yeah, but was, not negative six, yo. We're not going outside well, negative six. When was it negative six? Fucking New Year's Eve. The cold is when is when uh you when you can tell who can dress and who can't dress. That's true. Because of layers. And I was very anxious to get back to the cold because it's a fantasy land out there in Miami. Mm. 
Like people just waking up and walking around with shorts on and shit. Hawaiian shirts with the attire. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool on all of that. Uh, so where do we start? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve was great. <laughs> Air horns for New Year's Eve. Uh, Rory was in Miami. I don't know how Rory ended up in Miami. Uh, but Rory's plan was to sneak into this puff party. I did. I, I came by boat. That was <laughs> Mike. The, that was Mike back. Zombie's plan too, mm. and it failed. <laughs> Mike Zombie, we love you. You already know that we love you. You should never listen to Marissa. <laughs> yeah, I did feel pretty bad. <laughs> did they let Marissa get the plus one? Zombie, zombie texting me like like I could do something at Puff's house. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I got yeah. the pole here. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's a little strange. I think I was only able to smuggle Rory in because I'm, I'm liked it by Puff at the moment. Mm. So, at the moment is probably key. At the moment is very important. Let's see how this goes next year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Rory will make it in next year, but we walked in and and this was a beautiful event. It looked beautiful. It was beautiful. Uh, yeah, this guy pulls out all the stops for a party. The dance floor was fire. That was fire. The all white dance floor. I'm gonna get that for the crib. Yeah, I need that shit With the in my lights. I need that shit in my living room. Yeah, my kitchen about to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even gonna lie because that just says dance. Yeah, it makes it. it makes you want to dance. Now I think it's important to note that that Puff has made his name by giving amazing parties. I myself have never been to one. Me either. Because I'm a homebody. And truth be told, if I spent New Year's Eve at home, you know, with my fucking family, that would have been perfectly fine. But I'm a real nigga, so I dropped the baby right in his grandma's. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you fucking kidding me? You didn't think that baby was going right to grandma's house on New Year's Eve? Joe is already a deadbeat dad. That's you crazy. You want Lex and Assad to mingle? No, no. First of all, not this weekend. All right. First of all, Assad has more energy than any human being on the planet. It was 4:30. I was about to pass out on Diddy's floor, so was and late. Assad was running around. With his Haitian nannies chasing him, you couldn't get into Puff's house unless you had the right attire. Obviously, the only people that got in without the right attire was Assad's Haitian nannies that were dressed like Haitian nannies at a black tie event. Got to respect it. Well, they probably lived next door <laughs> or fucking two houses down or something. Uh, what were some of the highlights of the night? Uh, I think Precious rapping word for word "Where My Dogs At" was one of one of the highlights for me. I think that was one of the highlights, period. I have to I have to salute to Precious for tearing the dance floor down. She was one of the first people I saw dancing aside from you. So that was pretty cool. She what? was she was one of the first people dancing. Joe thought he was he got that cool video at Diddy's when he was dancing the night before. Right. So he was so he thought he was so successful with that that he went and did the same exact dance moves for two hours the next day. I just respect in a that. suit. Yeah. If it works, you know. Wait, no. Those are that those are the extent of my dance moves. <laughs> There's wait, not much range. No, no, not at all. Just depending on the speed of the record. It's just depending on this two step that you're gonna get. My, my, nope. man, my man was like, Is that Joe? I was like, Is there a light skinned guy dancing awkwardly by himself? <laughs> yes. Yeah, then Joe. that is fucking Joe. <laughs> that's Joe. That is Joe. Well, I wouldn't what do y'all think? I was gonna sit there and wait for the dance floor to get full? I, I respect that. Come on. That's the fucking problem nowadays. It is. Everybody too cool. Yeah. So yeah, there was one point where Precious was really giving it up to uh, I think I think it was back that ass up uh, juvenile, uh, and then Rory wants to walk by and stand directly in my fucking view path to Precious. I said Rory, would you get the fuck out of my way? No, no, you. I'm actually trying to said, look at Precious. Drop it like it's hot. No, you said you, yo yo. You fucking Precious is flow up right now. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Out, Precious was y'all you know I mean, and that's I commend that like. Just not giving a fuck and just dancing. Who cares? You're having fun. You're having a good time. So that was a highlight for me. Uh, who else? What What else was a highlight? The uh, mogul talk on the stairs looked pretty fire. <laughs> I got to watch you. I don't know if you're being funny. No, I'm serious. It was, I was inspired. Were you inspired? I was inspired. Good. That's what we aim to do. Did you feel I, black excellence? That's what. Yeah, uh, parts? I started like cleaning the house and shit. Like I, I couldn't just. Well, no. Hey, let me let me just say. I said to Rory over the weekend. I think we need a word for our white friends that support black excellence. We need a word for it. We do. Uh, I mean, we do have a word for it. What? Culture vultures. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my Damn. god. <laughs> well. All right. <laughs> that's what I am. Uh, well, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, awkward. <laughs> yeah, let me get that mauve drop in there. Is that how you feel in the 2018? 
you're saying. I meant like the people that support us in a good, friendly way, not the people culture that exploit us. us. No, they exploit us and take advantage of us. I wasn't necessarily referring to them. Oh. And I don't think that's solely a white thing. Let me be clear. I know a whole bunch of black culture vultures. No, we have another word for them. What's that? Coons. I'm going to sit this one out. Is that what they want to do? <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, yo, Mo has been trying to make us a real Black Panther podcast in the like last that. two months. I will say that. What you mean? You're like extra woke. Well, no, I'm extra honest. I mean, the people that we're friends with that support us I'm in our friends black with excellence. All right, never mind, man. Just forget it. We can be friends with coons and culture vultures. I'm what, friends el- with everybody. what else happened at the Puff Party that was fun? Khaled gave me a really inspirational talk, man. Dope. Oh, man. Nothing like starting the new year off with a good fucking Khaled inspirational talk. I'm jealous. I'm hating. I felt empowered. I felt like ready to work, but no one there was working. Did I did. Any, did you get any elliptical with him? No. Uh, right. Did you talk about mixtapes? No. <laughs> I was really confused where that voice just came from. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, man, that's Brandon <laughs> trying to grassroots us out. Shut up. <laughs> hey, Brandon, shut up over there, all right? Just just peep, chime in at that key moments. <laughs> uh, uh, it was funny uh, when you and I were on the balcony and I tapped you. I said, I don't know if you realize, it's just me, you, and Al Sharpton on this balcony right now. <laughs> he had his pants on, though, so that was That was, that was one cool. of the greatest moments ever. I don't know how we ended up with just me, Rory, Al Sharpton, and guests of his. But boy, did his party look a lot more popping than mine and Rory's. <laughs> Word. So now, I was there with my beautiful significant other. And and what I will say is, there were a lot of women there. I saw some hoes on the uh, I Instagram. said women. I mean, uh, yeah. There were hoes well, there there were hoes well. there, too. There, there were hoes there, too. Yeah. But man, there was a lot of really great looking women there. I would expect nothing less. Cassie was there, Mo. I would think so. <laughs> You're right about Cassie. I would think so. I am wrong. I would think so. You're usually wrong when it comes to talking to me, but it's okay. <laughs> it's been a Maul, hostile Maul, first Maul, 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 episode Maul, of the year. No, 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 no. Maul and I have argued about Cassie for at least 10 years. She looks great in person. Really, really good. No, I don't even think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Maul is over here. I don't... Catch up. It's not great. I'll let y'all know who the new baddest chick is. And y'all could agree with me in 10 years. Yeah, it's not a great thing. Like, there's another word for how she was floating. Mm. <laughs> how she was floating. said this 10 years ago. She was floating. Ago. She wasn't even... Yeah, but she was a groupie 10 years ago. How you knew? You didn't know. I know who, I know what bad is. Yo, who you want to fight then this year, man? Come nobody. On, why you why you just mail? What's up? I'm chilling. I, I want to fight nobody. Let me get into your mood. Is this a zen like thing you're doing? What you mean? I'm With, sitting here listening to the yeah, recap with, of the New Year. Your voice, I didn't do shit, so your, I can't. Your, I can't chime your in. Your voice got some extra bassy reverb that I'm not used to. Nah, <laughs> I'm chilling, man. <clears throat> right. Oh, I will say a, a funny story. I don't, have you guys spent New Year's Eve with Joe before in the past? Yeah. You know Joe prays at midnight. Right. I think I've yeah. spent the, the last four with you. I think. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing for me. I'm bringing the new year in on my knees in prayer. Okay. Pause for you idiots, but yeah, I'm doing that. So no you know, where. like the stereotypical prayer pose, maybe mm-hmm. knees, hands together, sure. eyes closed. Joe doesn't do that pose he, when he, had he a prays. Newport? Joe got down on his knees. Pause. Then dug his face into his arm and into the couch. So he is now laying face into the couch and everyone is walking by going oh shit Joe Button is fucked up <laughs> yo, yo 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 you said Joe is already mad drunk is that, yo, is that, is that is Joe that what they were saying about that's why that I, is a that's drunk. why I stood in front of you because you looked nuts I am you looked like you was passed out drunk at 1155 oh, I am a Joe <laughs> I Everybody would, walked by. Oh shit! That's definitely Joe, a drunk Joe pose. Face Joe on the couch. Done already. People or, taking their phones out. Or you're praying, and because the normal pose is an awkward position on the on this the way this couch is set up. Pause. Listen, I was holding my girl's hand. I respect the prayers. Yeah, she looked like like you was about to yak, and she was like trying to help you. <laughs> she was holding your hair. Oh, yeah. That is probably the wrong party to look that way in. Yeah. That that is exactly why I stood <laughs> well, the way, to try to block everyone's view of you looking passed out drunk. Well, the way I saw it, I was surrounded by sinners who didn't care enough about <laughs> uh, bowing down and fucking praising the Lord. 
Sin and sinners. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I left. I was there at ten o'clock. I, I I can't party. I can't party hard. I can't party. Oh, back to no, back to the women being there. This is what I learned. Oh man, this is great. This is great. I was trying not to lock eyes with anybody in there. Any of the women. <laughs> Locking eyes would have gotten you in a lot of trouble in that, oh, yeah. in that party. I'm sure. And and also, because I won't let the women off the hook here, women over the years, and I'll say this is over a decade's worth of work from women now, you guys have totally ruined and misinterpreted what locking eyes with a man in the club means. Honestly. And it, I don't think this should continue to go un, uh, unaddressed. I shouldn't feel guilty locking eyes with a chick in the club because now she's going to go tell her whole group chat that you were on her dick and sweating <laughs> her the whole night just because you happen to glance her fucking way and y'all had that half a millisecond of locking eyes with each other and the setting and the background was real intimate and you're dressed like you're at a wedding and so is she. The music is nice. Everybody's drunk. Nah. They thought you was ready? That's what it means. That's what women think locking eyes mean That's crazy. in a club. You're ready. I wasn't ready. And I didn't want to get beat up by looking at any of the women in that fucking party. You ain't fooling me. Smart. You got to go home with your girl. Smart. Yeah. I love how Rory's just extra quiet. Yeah, right? word. <laughs> no, yeah, say, let, on, Rory. Let, you, let you tell it. Uh, no, Rory and mine. Yeah, nigga, you no, was a lot there. Of, a lot of the, the women there that I did talk to all oh. did did a lot of things. That's when I at, like asked, you know, conversation. What Y'all do you just, do? You hit them with the what do you do? It was just brought up in conversation. I think they might have asked me, and then I I, I didn't have anything to say because I don't do anything at the moment. <laughs> uh, a lot of women do 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 a lot of things. Well, I'm currently unemployed. <laughs> Yo, me and Rory bodied the unemployed look there. I will yeah, I will say that. that we was the sharpest unemployed niggas in the building. You look snazzy. Yeah, we, I put, we put on for Rory, everyone but... that, that that waits in line at government buildings for, you know, the, for their paycheck. Yeah, puff dressed me. I'm not normally that. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I would have fucked that. I'd have some fucking tuxedo sweats. <laughs> I would have been in there laced and wouldn't have cared neither. And wouldn't have cared. Uh, but everybody who was anybody was in the, in this party. Uh, and 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 he just seemed the party just seemed to get stronger. I was leaving at four, and the rush was getting there yeah. at four. And that's when, uh, as I'm getting in my car, Trey Songs wants to have one of those. Yo, man, you and Sin, I really y'all. I really like how y'all developed and grew and matured. <laughs> And y'all really doing the family thing. It's responsible, yo. It's love. But he's got at least 90 women behind him. And he's just standing there like, Trey Songs, you are the last person on earth to be telling anybody the responsibility talk. that you're proud of how they have matured and grown to be responsible in their relationship. <laughs> but whatever, I really appreciate it. And his silk shirt was real nice. Everybody was dressed well, too. I'll say that. Everyone looked amazing. Round of applause for... How people look. Let me turn it down because that really annoyed me last uh, week. <laughs> to when all the, the volume people, was too loud. Uh, to all the people that that killed me for playing devil's advocate, Puff personally came up to me and said he liked it and said we need more friends like Rory. So fuck all y'all. I'm playing I don't devil's believe advocate that for a for fucking second. Why got Joe's right there? What is Rory? No, I wasn't. Yes, it was the three of us at the top of the stairs. Do you think I'm gonna ever own up to anything I was second. right there for <laughs> in support true. of my friend? <laughs> no, no, not at all. But I did learn the true, uh, damn, damn it, I forgot what I learned. I forgot what I learned. But anyway, shout out to everybody today. That was a lot of fun. Good to be back home in nine, nine degree weather. Back to getting it out the mud. Yes. Maul, I hate to start the new year with some old shit, but we failed to address this with you and I assume this happened last year. Uh, now, for a while, we've, I spent a good minute trying to figure out why you insisted that Khloe Kardashian was a friend of the show. Outside of her just being a really cool f- woman. Mm-hmm. But you were actually on one of these episodes of the Kardashians. I saw you there. Mm-hmm. And you were toasting mm-hmm. in the name of love. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we never discussed that here. But was that indeed you on that episode of Keeping yeah. Up with the Kardashians? What season and episode number is it so we can reference? Uh, I don't know. It was last summer. Not the summer that just passed. Uh, summer before for her birthday. No, this was last month in my story. No, you probably just this saw New Year's last month. No, this no, was no. Last... I said in my story, this oh. has to be very recent to make it fun. All right, so this was... Yeah, for right. her birthday. She had a birthday party at uh, Dave & Buster's in L.A. And you were one of the people that she called to, to toast with her? <laughs> well, we was all standing there, and we said, let's have a toast. It was her birthday, so we did a toast. You don't think that's something that you should tell your friends so they could support you and watch the episode? No. Tweet about it. Why? 
I don't I don't know. It just wasn't something that what was I gonna say? Hey, watch the Kardashians. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, would be yeah, that, hit, hit the group that's chat. exactly what that would that's exactly what you should say. No. Me? You know I'm not saying that. Me? Small? No. So you just wanted to surprise us with it. I didn't want y'all to ever see it. <laughs> but you did it. Because it was a real thing. Like we were really at the party having a good time. I wasn't trying to be on camera and be seen. Did you sign your release form? It, it, well, everybody that walked in had to. Oh, okay. So we, you be you like be in Calabasas and shit. Mm. 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 We have to learn more about him in 2018. Yeah. Why? Do you I guys, think it's so much fun not knowing anything about him. What did you say at the toast? Yeah, now you know you said some Harlem bullshit. No, I didn't say. I, don't, I can't even remember. We just kind of just did a toast. I said happy birthday and just kind of just had a toast to her birthday and just took a shot. It wasn't really like a long speech. And yeah. we, was at, we was at Dave and Buster's. It was like fun shit. We what, just, what kind of shot was it? Dave and Dave and Buster's in Calabasas. I believe. Okay. That's wild. I'm, yeah. Uh, Berg, how you doing? How you doing? I'm well. Can you hear me loud and clear? Very clear. Happy New Year to you, sir. Happy New Year to you too, brother. I think in 2018, I want to start making these random phone calls a thing on this podcast. Um, we're live on the podcast, so don't say anything incriminating, okay? <laughs> I got you. I'll M- try. <laughs> Maul, Maul, Rory, Parks, the whole gang is here. Would you like to say Happy New Year to Maul in particular? Oh, yeah, for sure. Mr. Supreme was cracking. I thought you'd be on Fairfax right now. How you feeling? <laughs> Happy New Year to you too, man. <laughs> now, What's up, man? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do the stalling. What's up, man? I'm hearing, I'm hearing things, man. Berg, hearing Berg things. listen. I, I told Maul that we wanted to talk to him. No, nah, you told me I had to go to homie court. No, I told him. So give I me told, the theme music. I, pull the theme music I, I, up. Let's do it. I told Maul. My counselor couldn't be here today. I'm going to represent myself I, again. I can't do the theme music. Cause I'm the here. Teflon Don. No charges stick to me. Now, last year, and this is Maul. Uh, Maul this is going to act as sort of an intervention. Because Berg, Berg called me yesterday with some troubling information, but it wasn't a surprise because you spent all of last year underneath uh, underneath unsuspecting women's Instagram pages letting off the like hammer. Oh, yeah. Would you say that that is true or false? That's what I do. It's like records. <laughs> they like, weren't suspecting? No, okay. they weren't suspecting. And that, that's my charge. But And then Berg called... With with similar questions, so I'm gonna give it to you, Berg. Pause, so so you can talk to Maul, right? All right, cool. Hey, Maul, what? Why are you shooting like Steph Curry? You shoot them likes like Curry, nigga. For in fourth quarter, nigga, down by three. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, that's what you do. You miss all of the shots you don't take. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna let this look. clip go. No, we leaving out the important part, man. What's the important part? You you can't just leave a bunch of likes under. You know what I mean? Under OPP. Uh, OPP? <laughs> OPP. What's OPP? Yeah, oh, come on. Maul. You heard the song, Maul. Come <laughs> on, Maul. Don't waste our time on the stand. Other people's pussy? Or property was the clean version. <laughs> today, and today, they would kill Tretch. <laughs> they would kill Tretch today for saying that fucking blasphemy. So, so whose property did I leave I a like on? I want to know one thing, Maul. How does the like thing work, right? So you shoot a like if she shoots you a couple likes back, like that's all the ultimate, like, yo, come holler at the DMs or like, what's the protocol on that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, break it down for us. <laughs> no, there, there's, there's no, there's no protocol. If you see something, you like it, you like it. It ain't no, it ain't no protocol. It's not like no hidden cryptic message behind it. Well, listen, I'm close to married, but what if it was like with somebody that I was engaging with and like trying to build dialogue with, like, and you, I just go there and I see you liking shit. I like the picture. All right, I don't like her. All right, we got snuff this nigga. Bro. <laughs> I like right, Pay Berg. Berg, I think we got to the bottom of this. Y'all man. niggas sound like. Hold on, I got hey, my head to bring y'all niggas up. Y'all sound like oh. y'all cuffing. Uh, yeah. Oh man, yes. y'all niggas. Is, oh, y'all yes. niggas is crazy. Yes. yes. Y'all wait. niggas can't cuff. Wait, you the nigga that missed the cuffing memo? Y- y'all niggas is cuffing. Berg, I know you ain't cuffing. Berg. What? Berg, you ain't cuffing. Oh, you don't click Berg's Insta. Nah, I don't, Berg, you ain't cuffing, man. <laughs> Unfortunately, me and my girl parted ways. On- Year's Eve at the ball dropping, so I'm back in these streets. All right, then. You, 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 you Wait, Joe, right, you now, can't time be out. Time, everybody, relax for two seconds before this conversation progresses. Parks, are you a cuffer? Yeah, Rory. 
<laughs> are you a cuffer? Yes, I love y'all my niggas. New Chris crazy. Brown, are you All a my cuffer? I love y'all niggas. Is I mean, crazy. Pardon me, Ma. I'm trying. Don't try to influence the room. All right. <laughs> New Chris Brown, are you a cuffer? Savon, that's a yes. Savon, are you a cuffer? Yeah. Brandon has cuffer. been cuffed since oh, '91. Man. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, relax, so, relax. So what, I'm, sa- so what I'm saying to you, Maul, is Berg ain't no cuffer. I don't believe that. Berg is the k- nah. Berg is a cuffer. Nah. Berg is a tricker. Berg, Berg is no, all of the nah, things that, we, that, Berg, we, that, Berg that, that tricking, you think man. is not cool, but it works. Bad Rich shit, niggas nah, is playing man. different out Nah, here. man. Berg, you ain't you ain't tricking Berg. I know Berg ain't tricking. I know he I'm ain't true. Great six weeks, Ma. I'm amazed in six weeks. Oh, That's see? all I got in me for the see? cuff. See? See? Man, that shit hurt my heart, man. Though. Cuffing That's is an experience. experience. Cuffing is cuffing <laughs> is illegal. <laughs> it is. It is an experience. That is illegal. No, it's not. Ma. It is illegal to cuff something. On 90s it's illegal. This I don't give a fuck what year it is. It's illegal to cuff something. You're that wrong, is Ma. illegal. Cuffing is in. How old is Maul? I don't know. <laughs> that's illegal. You can't cuff something. That's you that's crazy, everybody's Ma. property. No, yes, you can. No, you cannot. And they're looking for it. No, they're, they're not. Yes, they are. They're looking for a come up. Yeah, uh, it starts with the cuff. All this is coming from the dude who who girlfriend can't have a friend and all that other who? shit. I heard the last podcast. Of the That's if it's my girl. If it's my girl. If it's my girl. Yeah. If it's just but a chick on the gram. Though, so which one is it? You can't even. No, if it's my. You're not cuffing. No, Berg. Listen, if it's your girlfriend, that's understandable. You're supposed to cuff your girlfriend. I'm talking you're about to if it's just up to it. if it's just attractive women on the internet and you just happen to have some type of. You have her number or something? You can't cuff that. This nigga's crazy. Cuff, you cannot cuff that. What <laughs> fucking planet am I on? You those, cannot cuff a girl that is not your girl. Those little two-week relationships. If you like her like that, works. make her your girlfriend. That's when she's off the market. What is wrong with Maul? What's wrong with you, <laughs> nigga? Is, Berg, How do you cuff something that's not Berg, yours? I'm sorry. You know what that's Easily. called? That's called kidnapping. <laughs> hey, no, hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. That's called kidnapping. You can't cuff what's Maul, not yours. Well, no, I want to get into this topic. This is like a mistake topic, but I want to get into this. Y'all hey, niggas Berg. is crazy. Hey, Berg, I'm calling you after this. We got to have a talk, man. Berg, yeah, yeah. Why, why, call me, man. No, no, no. Hold up. While I have you on the phone, what, what, what's up with this uh, this uh, Jeremiah and fucking uh, Ty Dollar project that y'all been promoting for seven months? It's my time, 21 Song of the Greatness. I produced, me and A1 produced every song on the record along with our co producers. We got features from Chris Brown. Um, oh, you do this promo shit. I was going to say. You do this promo shit too well. Now it sounds like we planned this, <laughs> and, I, and I didn't. Nah, <laughs> you're, you're great. We definitely didn't plan it. We didn't plan it, but you know, I'm winging it. I'm trying to do good for my brothers, but it's coming out February, All Star Weekend, and I'm mixing the album right Black now. Black Excellence. Black Excellence. <laughs> live, live, King. <laughs> Live, <laughs> flourish, King. Yeah. I want you to get yours, all you deserve. Man, me too, man. Yo, I'm happy for you, bro. Oh. I'm mad I ain't come to Miami, man. Damn. Yeah, no, nah, it was cool. Don't worry. I'm I'm coming to L.A. on Thursday. Sin don't know it yet, though. Oh, all right. Well, shit. I'll see you at the studio on Thursday. You know it, then. Love, nigga. All right, one. Well. Maul. Y'all niggas is crazy. Man. Honestly, let's talk about this for real. Y'all niggas is crazy. Because in 2018, I don't you, care you what year it is, you can't cuff something that's not yours. Period. I don't give a fuck what you niggas is talking about. I don't care who you, you call. You never did like a little two week relationship cuff? No, nigga, you can't cuff with that, the that, best. If that's the that's point. The make shit. it your girl. Take her off the market. I don't want to do that though. Then you can't tell another nigga not to like who you like, nigga. I'm not, but I'm not telling another nigga. I'm telling you. You can't tell me nothing. If it's not your girl, you can't tell me nothing about another female. But Don't why? even have a conversation with me. But why? But you my man. Because that's not your girl. But you, but you're my friend. Nah, but that's still not your girl. I don't want to talk about no women Yo, that ain't this? your girlfriend. If she's not your girlfriend, don't pull me to the side. Don't tell me nothing about her. Take her off the market if you want her to yourself. Period. That's how it's always been, nigga. Yeah, but what if he's trying to holler at and I don't this. give a Very fuck about none of that. If it's not your girl, don't talk to me about no female. Period. I don't know what y'all niggas are talking about. I don't care no who y'all calling for. Yeah. P- hit it again, nigga. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. Right. No Put some reverb on that shit, man. How you be yeah, all that shit, man. <laughs> what what other beliefs do you have that I need to know about? I have a lot of beliefs. Tell, tell me some more. You cannot tell me, yo, why are you liking this girl's picture? What no, you mean? No, we got that one. I want to hear some more some more of your beliefs. About what? Some this is about life, nigga. Some moralism. I mean, shit, nigga. I mean, mm-hmm. we we on the topic right now. Y'all niggas can't tell me that y'all gonna cuff something that's not yours. That's not cool. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Yeah, you can't cuff something that's not yours. All right, but well, well, give me some more though. 
any, any more that you rolling no, in the 2018 know, man. with? It, it depends on how I'm feeling. Yo, <laughs> all right, so let's talk about some more old shit since, since we're here. Azalea Banks clapped at me. Yeah, she killed you. She got you out of here? Let me get some gunshots going for Azalea. Some low shots, because, I mean, they weren't effective. I don't uh, know. I think she killed you. Now, because this is Maul's people, I got to get right back to Maul. Maul, why, I need, do I need you to squash this for me? Azalea Banks is my people's? How's that my people's? I don't know. I was introduced to her uh, in good favor from you. <laughs> Wait. Like, I, I, like I've been introduced to many people in good favor from you. Because you, you are up on I, things I said she, Yeah, I think she's talented. I think she gets in her own way a lot. Um, but I don't, I don't know her personally. Azalea Banks is trying desperately to be inserted into the Barbie tribe. Right? I think that's safe to say. She's being courted to uh, no, she's to not, lead the Barbies. She's not being courted. She's just inserting herself, <laughs> uh, and that's fine. I'm not, I'm not mad at her. Uh, the insult was that I've been begging for a Jay Z verse my entire career. I mean, you have Azalea Banks. Let me be the first person to tell you, you are absolutely correct. <laughs> I still want a Jay Z verse and a Rockefeller chain. I didn't think there was any shame in that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I didn't think there was shame in in really begging for a Jay Z verse, especially when I came in the game. So I want to commend Azalea Banks for that amazing shade, and I want to commend myself for working myself into a position where that's the shade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the shit you've done. That's, yeah. that's not too bad. That you wanted a whole verse. Um, what else is really important that's old? Uh, Cardi and Offset, we left, and then that, all that shit started happening. Do you guys care? Uh, was there? Did we talk about that last week? I think we did. All right, so I don't care then. Was there any resolve there? Are they broken up? Are they back together? I haven't, I saw when it happened, and then nothing after that. It's been quiet. Uh, I don't know, but I mean, I don't really care. Cardi has made it a point to say that she's going to continue to rap about Homeboy and. That's it. What I will say is she is playing herself into a very dangerous trap in the event that things don't work out. That's true. Man, Spanish girls fall harder than anybody when the breakup is bad. Yeah, I don't like how I be saying shit to be dead true and it'd be so true that the whole room get quiet because y'all don't want to get <laughs> incriminated. To reflect, so, well, what's going on with y'all? Y'all have all had bad breakups with Spanish women and everybody's quiet like I said some they're fucking not, they're unlawful passionate. shit. They're just passionate. That's all. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, oh, Tiana Taylor looked great, too. Amon Shumpert, I don't want any beef. She just looked really great. You have to say that, because Amon is stepping the niggas uh, over them Instagram comments. See? As you should. See? See what? That's his wife. The fuck are you talking about? He can absolutely step to somebody over Instagram comments about his wife and his child's mother. Here you go with logic. If that was just <laughs> a girl he liked, <laughs> and he stepped to me, I'll tell Amon, get the fuck out of here, man. You can't step to a nigga over a girl that's not your girl, bro. Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. Y'all niggas is, <laughs> Yes, you can. Y'all niggas, then I'm the only nigga Where that's... I'm on a different been? planet, B. Then I'm on a different... I wish a nigga no, would step to me about I, a girl that's I agree girl. with Mo, but I, wish I just a know nigga the world would we live in. step <laughs> right. to me about a girl that's not his girl. Rory has 100% all the time. been Who? stepped to. <laughs> a nigga, about a chick? Absolutely. See? This is the first time I've ever been asked about women that's not like a nigga's girl. Right here, and today, in this room. That is not true, Mo. Who? That's not true. What Nobody saying. has ever asked me about and, a girl that wasn't their girl. And I'm not, not letting this topic dominate the conversation because you just nuts. But that is not true. Nobody has ever approached about. me about a woman or liking a chick's picture that wasn't their girl. Nobody has ever done that before. Listen, well, first time I, I agree that those are the rules. I'm just telling you they're not being Where's followed. The phone? <laughs> oh, well, then that's a different. Now, that's a different. I, I agree. That's different. But you first, y'all was no. saying that that was the rule. That, that you can phone? cuff a girl that's not yours. Like, oh, no, oh. I think you can. <laughs> Y'all niggas is crazy. You've never done a fake cuff before to get all the benefits of a relationship and not actually date the girl? No. That's great for like three weeks. You missing what I'm saying, bro. I'm talking about... That's cuffing, though. I'm talking about you it's asking your girl another for three... man, yo, why you liking her picture? That No, that is wild. Yeah, a like, a like is not really a... a... Wait, well, fence. where was this energy when this nigga Berg was just on the phone? Because y'all niggas had me feeling like I was the only nigga that... Like felt like I that was, was crazy. No, You've been Maul, liking his hoes no, pictures. Maul is excessive. Who's his hoes? Whoever the fuck they are, he ain't supposed to tell you. I don't. I don't know. That, that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's the point. I, I don't know. You don't know who your. Ho I don't know who his who Berg's who his hoes are. But you just said it don't matter if you know. Because it, it, if it don't. Then what do it matter? No, because at least I gotta. Know, if I know, like I don't know who his hoes are. 
Like Bird got I, I mean I don't Well he's single now He, he got a lot of hoes Oh yeah alright I'm off of this now He's telling Now he's snitching I'm just saying he's single now He's single He's single He just said yeah, he's single He said he just got single A couple days ago You okay. need time to accumulate He's single new, He's new single hoes. He's yeah. single He's on the gram with his Every time I look up Bird got a bunch of bitches Running around in his house man Well when are you gonna At least acquiesce To the new trend of Couples being in You don't care about that Like, don't I don't know Couple You miss what I'm saying If that's your girl no, That's a new question I'm off that I'm off if, that If that's, that's new, your girl Great Now I'm asking you about What your romantic plans are For 2018 Couples is cool I'm not I'm not against <laughs> Being in a relationship <laughs> If you got a girl that's, Couples is cool Yeah that's cool That Couples is cool But you can't to ask me about me liking a girl's picture that's not right, your girl. I'm done with you. Off, no. On to more important things. So last week... Some, no, that is important, though. Last week, somehow, I ended up in in a uh, swankish uh, Harlem condominium having a really great conversation with uh, Steve Stout, ASAP Ferg, and Dapper Dan. What a name drop podcast we're doing today. You think so? Yeah, it's been a lot, a lot of name dropping. Yeah. Well, a lot of the Jogles drop names, man. Oh, my God. I'm just telling you. I mean, you don't know. <laughs> I don't want yeah. to. Well, you wouldn't know. It's above above you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Yo, hey, let's get into that. I'm trying to get into let's that. Get the conversation, actually. though. So, no, the conversation was about so much great things. I wanted to take a picture of it, but I was soaking up so much G that I didn't get to do that, right? So, I just bring that up to say, you know... And this is an indictment against my friends. You know, I was feeling real inspired when I spoke to Steve Stout and Dapper Dan. You know, I was feeling really empowered. Uh, same way when, when I talked to uh, Puff, I feel real good about myself. My self-esteem is raised. And I start feeling like I can do, you know, I can do, I'm just capable of doing anything. You can, Joe. Uh Andre Harrell, all the people that you grow up. <laughs> you really just dropped. You the grow names up. Now. No, there's a few names that I'm going to purposely leave out of this. Okay. But my point is, the way that they inspire me, I would like to inspire inspire my friends. But like the problem is, it's having like an opposite effect amongst amongst you guys, <laughs> and y'all are not really ex- ex- accepting of of my new career path of it being a juggle. <laughs> now. When I was rapping and you guys were dismissive of my rap talent, it was okay. I have to put my foot down now. Uh, air horn. I will not allow certain disrespect anymore. Sorry, Maul. That's how, that's how I'm giving it up for 20 What disrespect? Any, any of it. <clears throat> and, and, any, hey, shut the fuck any, up. Any, any, <laughs> any, anything, you, anything that I don't think that would be allowable... At bad boy. <laughs> bad boy. Yo, we're at Park's crib. And you talking about bad boy. We're not at bad boy. Puff was once at a Park's crib. <laughs> you have to start somewhere, Brandon. But my point is, you know, I'm Joe, having an opposite effect. And all my friends just shit on me and curse me out every time I try to say some encouraging and inspiring shit. Sin's giving me a lot of lip. I'm getting a lot of back lip. She's not acting like Cassie. She's acting like sassy. Yep. I'm going to give it away. <laughs> Cassie would never speak to Puff in the manner in which Sin has been speaking to me lately. Because you're not Puff. I know, but Puff was once not Puff. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was always Puff. Yeah, he was kind of always Puff. Well, whatever. Listen, man, you can't. My, my, you, my you've point been a is, cranky fuck for twenty five fucking years. You can't just now be positive at thirty eight years old. It just doesn't sound right. We just laugh when you do it. Damn, I want to summon all the lines of, from Hove and Kanye where they reference, do you want me to stay the same? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I don't I, even sound right what do you, from you. What do you think I rap for? To push a fucking rap for? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Hove got a bunch of those lines too. Look, everybody want to get quiet and not support me on my entrepreneurship. I'm cool, bro. I got to learn how to say entrepreneurship. Uh, <laughs> it's faster and cooler than that. Uh, but that's fine. You guys don't need to support me. It's okay. No, we're, we're supportive of all your two-step videos, uh, all your sitting on steps with Puff. It's great, man. It just doesn't sound right coming from you. How are you going to tackle unemployment in 2018? I got, I got some things lined up. I got some meetings tomorrow. I'm actually happy this holiday shit is over. That was like two weeks of me really wanting to. That shit was to, fucking to, brutal. felt longer this year. So I'm happy long. people are back to work. Or you know, give us some people and build. Definitely gonna, definitely gonna link and build. Link. Link. Definitely link and build. <laughs> definitely, net, I was definitely networking at Puffs. Were you? Yeah, business cards. 
Of Rory course. looked real good to be unemployed, man. He did. That suit didn't look like it was from Zara at all. It wasn't from Zara. <laughs> I, I know, but I just remember you were trying to get to Zara. Yeah, it was going to be my first stop. to Because that's Zara suit, you don't need to really get tailored. I needed something quick, so I actually went to Topshop. Okay. Which was, yeah. So it was a good investment. Everyone needs a, a nice black suit if you're trying to get a job. Yeah, or period. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, and Salt Con- Bay. Salt Bay had uh, great burgers. I was definitely networking by the grill. <laughs> oh, yeah, Salt Bay was there. I don't want to refer to him that way. Yeah, it's yeah. uncomfortable. That's the only name I, I know him of from the internet. What is his real name? Mm, okay. Um, y'all want to talk music or you want to get into something else first? That Drake and Wayne freestyle seemed to have the whole group chat pretty excited. Boy, you guys were lighting it up in there. <laughs> you guys were really anxious for some new uh-huh. Wayne and Drake freestyles. <laughs> Joe Y'all, Budden's back to Joe Budden. Uh, no, great. no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, that's you're why in, we don't believe all your Parks, little positive well, shit. Well, hold up. Parks, Parks, you're in the group chat. I am. The I was what? commenting about the freestyle well, as well. Yeah. But that's not what I'm referring to. Was oh. there a lot of activity at this particular moment? There or was. Not? There was. Yeah. yeah, you guys were really excited. Don't, t- don't be ashamed of your excitement. It was good to hear. It was, it was, uh, all right, hold up. Before we finish this, let me let everyone know, me and Drake are cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. I'll squash it. Oh, man. Maul. This nigga's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's absolutely out of his mind. Go ahead, Car- <laughs> Carry on. Yeah. If relationships are important when you're being a jogel. I hear you. Networking. <laughs> I've been telling this nigga this for seven years. <laughs> what has he been telling and now, me? And now, now all of a sudden he has the, 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 the info. How has he been telling me that for seven years? I've been trying to tell you to network and be cool with niggas and build relationships for seven years. I'm Wall's only friend. <laughs> no, you're not. But I've been trying to tell you that for seven years. All of a sudden, a trip to Miami, now you come back and you have everything I've been saying is like clicking now. Khaled said some shit to this dude, man. Khaled words. See that's corny. I don't, I don't Khaled, like that. Khaled's like words hold like a lot that. more weight than Maul. Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, uh, here, like here we go. I, nah, can't, I, like I can't even. Get I'm about my to get joke. my shit off. Nah, I, I'm about, I don't like my, that. All right, let's hear. It. I don't Come like on, that. You can't have me. a talk with niggas you just met last week, and all of a sudden your life has changed. Sure you when can. niggas, what? I says you can. No, you cannot. Why? That's crazy. Niggas that's with you for seven, eight, nine, ten plus years telling you shit. All of a sudden, the nigga you just met. In 48 hours, tell you something, and you come back so enlightened. I wasn't a jogel before, man. Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. What? Nah, I know get the you gotta fuck stop. I wasn't here, a jogel. Get the fuck out of here. I was just here, rapping. Man. That's bullshit. Oh, man. That's, but I'm happy you got the message. But just know that niggas have been giving you these messages for years. That's all I'm saying. To acknowledge that. Just acknowledge that. Right or wrong? It's about right or wrong. Timing right or wrong. Ball. Fuck the timing. Right or wrong. Yeah. Okay. That's all I need. Yeah, I will give Maul his credit. Maul, Maul told me to call uh, Wayne and ask for. I first. tell you, okay. I tell you to call any any nigga and squash shit. No, I mean just talk to people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not, not network squash shit. Talk, squash shit. It's that, that beef ain't really a beef. Just reach out. Uh, all of this shit I've been telling you. Like yo, this is how you get places. This is how you mm. do shit. Niggas, these niggas that said I was at the party with Puff. A lot of them niggas don't even like Puff. Who doesn't like Puff? A lot of them niggas that was there at his New Year's party don't they talk a lot of shit about Puff. Believe you me. I don't know. You but they're nothing? not going to do it to his face because where's the value in that? Oh, no. I want people to talk about me behind my back. Where's the value? <laughs> but, but see, this is what I'm saying, though. But this is what I was trying to tell don't you. Don't talk about me in front of my face while I'm at a Puff party. But There no. are certain <laughs> places that I want you to talk about me in front of my face and certain places I don't. Puff's house is one of those places. But this is what, I'm trying to, this is what I've been trying to tell you for years. You, you like, I don't fuck with them niggas. You don't gotta fuck, but just you don't gotta let them know you don't fuck with them. Just be, just be for business funny. purposes. Just that's what the that's what the industry is. It's I, all fake shit. I did mean to go have a conversation with Lenny S. I did mean to. And what happened? It's a, it's a party. Okay, so but 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 what it's I was trying to tell you about Lenny, nigga, just niggas think you got beef all the time. That's your stigma. Like you always got oh, an issue with niggas. I don't even like that word stigma. Don't that say, is, don't say stigma. <laughs> but that don't, is though. But don't say stigma to me. That is, but that's your, that's your, that's no, what that's comes to you. Niggas think that's that you, old. That's old, Maul. No, that's not. No, that's not. You think that's current? Yeah, it's still happening. You the think? Migos just made a song telling you you's a hater. They, they, they <laughs> what are you talking about? That's current. Niggas currently feel that way about that's you. That three, you're a hater. That's three people, which is really kind of like. That's one. only three people saying it. <laughs> but they move as one, so I'm counting it as one. Okay, but that's but that's just them <laughs> saying it. Other niggas feel like that. Trust me, they do. All right. Well, let me let everyone know. 
Joe is about love. <laughs> In 2018. Now you about love. Yes. Now I'm about hey, love. Celebrity whore, too. Oh, Flicking no, it up man. with everyone. No, I wasn't. Yo, let's, yo, let's take a flick. That. Don't do wow. this. Yo, yo let's, let's yeah. flick it up, fam. Damn, you linked up with mad people? No. Yeah, he was no. like build with mad people? I never would have thought. Joe was kind crazy. of a, being a celebrity hoe at that wow. shit. I have one picture with Cassie. <laughs> That's yeah, the only to, picture I have. You to flick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yo, what is up with this new thing? The new things that we should be ashamed of. Yes. I asked Cassie for a pic. Wow. And I got it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people that asked and didn't get it. All right? Rory. Yeah, fucking Rory. I, I didn't ask anyone to take like, a no, picture. Not, Rory not did ask though. Biz for a picture. <laughs> 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 it's just the pictures yo, yo we were asking yo for. Fam, was yo fam, let's get a pic. You was asking Biz, Elliot funny. Wilson, <laughs> That's funny. Nori. I was asking Cassie. That's funny. You know, those, the likes. It was good to see Nori, though. Oh, it was great. So Nori's hilarious. No, he's hilarious. Listen, uh, off to more, more important things. Are we boycotting? Uh, yeah, let me ask you this, Maul, since you want to be extra woke in 2018. Are we boycotting Black Panther? I see a lot of people on that wave. Wait, why? Because Michael B. Jordan likes white girls. <laughs> Wait, so you what? boycott the whole movie? That's, That's what scary. they're saying. Put the whole, throw the whole movie away. <laughs> <laughs> why are they saying I'm Michael B. Jordan likes white girls? Because he did like, I don't know. He's been pictured with a white girl, nigga. What you think? I did he a, flicked a, it up with a, a white deep girl. dive on Michael. That Michael nigga's B. definitely fucking black women, too. Yo, Maul will, no, Maul will tell everybody's business. No, I won't. <laughs> I'm just saying. He's definitely, you don't think he's fucking black women? I don't know who he's fucking. He's definitely fucking black women. All right, well, maybe his who he's with is a white woman so there are, there are there's a certain group of people that are angry at him so there there are just light mentions of boycotting the movie people I don't are, agree with it I'm yeah, just asking people are stupid man. You mean, I'm not boycotting that movie because he's dating a white girl he's not even the lead character in the movie I was gonna say if he was the lead that'd be different but he's like a I don't know if it would be different I don't yeah, even if it was even <laughs> if he was the lead who gives a fuck wait how do we know he's not the lead He's not because he's not the Black Panther, <laughs> but he's black and he's in it, so he's one of the leads. <laughs> no, he's this not the move, Black this, Panther. This movie is all about highlighting black superheroes. It's what Puff is doing. <laughs> so, you're, so you're a black superhero. Yeah, so you're Michael. Yes. You're Michael B. Jordan, the yes, bad boy. Yes, and as my two white friends that support me, watch how the joke progresses from here. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Uncomfortable race comment. <laughs> Uncomfortable race comment. Anyway, fuck. All right, so y'all are not boy, uh, boycotting no, Black Panther. Not. Y'all are going to see Black uh, Panther. I can't wait for it to come out. My mom is <laughs> All right, uh, what about, the, uh, are we boycotting Dave Chappelle's new stand-up that dropped that I have not seen yet because I was in Miami, but uh, they're killing him apparently for these, well, they're attempting to kill him for the, uh, the transgender <laughs> jokes that he made. Yeah. Well, no, no, that was last time, and now no, they're and killing this time him again. I think it's and time. this time yeah. too, and his support of Kevin Spacey and Louis C.K. It wasn't support; it was jokes. I, I'd sensitive people just shouldn't be near comedy. Yeah, period. They I, shouldn't be yeah, able to comment I, I on it. I don't understand be, that. I don't understand that thing now that people are getting so offended by what comedians are saying. That shit is the, the dumbest crazy. shit in the world to me. Like, and it's not like Chappelle's not like making like dick jokes and like fart jokes. These like are really well thought out intellectual These, this, things. Yo, listen, the world is too sensitive now, man. All right. Well, what I will say, uh, and I've been saying that the world is too sensitive for quite some time, but it's just been a losing battle. <laughs> there are more and more sensitive people being born by the second. But what I will say is when I read this article published by Nylon, I want to give credit here in case they get backlash and want them to receive it and not me. <laughs> when I read this, I chuckled. <laughs> I just chuckled. So I'll read it. This says, at first I, along uh, with a lot of other people, was really excited to see Dave Chappelle had released two new comedy specials on New Year's Eve. But unfortunately, that excitement quickly turned into disappointment after hearing some of his tone-deaf jokes. In one of his sets released on Netflix, Chappelle addresses the... Uh, Myriad, myriad, what's myriad, this word? Myriad. Yeah, I thought it was myriad. Uh, this myriad sexual harassment, the myriad sexual harassment allegations against Louis C.K. Only he doesn't take the side of the victims. Instead, he calls one accuser, Abby Kashashkashkanimer. I don't know her name, a brittle ass spirit, and says the allegations make him laugh. All right, that's like their little opening monologue. But this is when they get into what he said. One lady said, Louis C.K. masturbating in front of me ruined my comedy dreams, Chappelle says, of Schachner. Word. Well, then, I dare say, madam, you may never, <laughs> you may have never had a dream. Come on, man. That's a brittle spirit. That is a brittle ass spirit. 
That is too much. This grown ass woman in Chappelle's world. Women should expect men to jerk off on them at work. It's just a part of chasing your dreams. Now, he never said that. Let me point that out. He never said that men should be able to jerk off on women oh, at work. Okay. He never said that. Uh, and I never saw this, but in what they just quoted from him, he never said that. He also mentioned Shatner's claims that CK masturbated on the phone with her. I know that sounds fucked up. This is a quote. I know that sounds fucked up. I'm not supposed to say that, but one of these ladies was like, Louis C.K. was masturbating while I was on the phone with him, Chappelle says. Bitch, you don't know how to hang up a phone? How the fuck are you going to survive in show business if this is an actual obstacle to your dreams? End quote. What do you guys think of that? It's a joke. I did laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, curious, joke. I'm curious what this person that wrote this article, if they laughed at jokes about other things. Like, you can't... You can't laugh at everything, and then when it gets to something you're sensitive about, it's no longer funny. Like, right. you can't pick and choose just what hurts you. Right. Like, that's not how comedy works. Yeah, I don't think that any of these jokes are victim shaming. They're also jokes. They're jokes. And we should be able to joke about things. Well, I guess that's where it gets tricky, but I still don't think this is victim shaming. No. Because that's what they'll say. They'll say you're joking. Uh, at the expense of someone who went through a very traumatic experience. They're certainly insensitive, but that's the fucking point of comedy, I think. Well, you some, should, some brands of comedy, at least. Well, you can't handle show business if you don't know how to hang up the phone when something's happening on the other line that shouldn't be happening. That's true. Right? It's going to it's gonna be a tough road. But even on top of that, to Park's point, that's the part of comedy. You're supposed to make jokes of shit Yo, that's I ain't gonna not lie. inappropriate. Your, your voice comes in mad random. I need like an alert. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, need, I need something before you come in with just words. All right. In another bit, Chappelle makes fun of trans people. Start quote. <laughs> you know who hates, uh, who hates me the most? The transgender community, he says. I didn't realize how bad it was. These motherfuckers are really mad about that last Netflix special, he continues. It's tough, man. I don't know what to do about it, because I like them. I always have. Never had a problem with them. You know, just fucking around. And a matter of fact, I think I make fun of everybody. And I mean, as a group of people, they have to admit, it's kind of fucking hilarious. Man, I'm sorry. Bro. End quote. That seems... Sounds like an apology. (laughs) It's funny, though. Yeah, it is funny. I saw both specials. I mean, I'm not a sensitive person or transgender or been masturbated on by Louis C.K. So I don't know if okay. I'm allowed to say what's being offensive and what's not. Wait, but wait. I he, thought he said I haven't been mas- masturbated on by Louis C.K. Well, that begs the question. <laughs> no, keep going. What, uh, what are you gonna ask? No, no, never mind. I won't do it. I won't do it. Uh, but I didn't see anything in there that was like super. It was all in good fun and spirit. It wasn't crazy. I won't even. It's say comedy, man. It's, it's, it's just comedy. comedy. But have y'all it's seen the special? Man. Can anybody yeah. tell me about it? Is it good? I saw. I saw both of them. Um, <laughs> you have mad time. Yeah, words. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, get busy. <laughs> <laughs> Get busy. <laughs> Get it. Are you done? Yes. Okay. <laughs> they were both great. Um, I am a big comedy fan, so I was a little nervous. Usually specials take like years, at minimum a year to do. And Chappelle has put out like four in like six months. Yeah, but he jerked us on those last those last few specials. No pun I thought the last two were funny. No. They were I like liked them. crazy. But I they think were... these two are better. I think there was a lot of old content old material on the yeah. last two and I that took away from the punch for me. I feel you. There's definitely um, a lot of, uh, but I am anxious to see the new ones. They're great. And uh when I was watching it and the second one, Chappelle is like literally sitting down the whole time in a really small place. Has anyone done show business or their career better than Dave Chappelle? He collected sixty million dollars to sit on a stool and talk to uh fifty people. Oh Bill O'Reilly's <laughs> got him beat by far. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly behaved inappropriately and walked with like a hundred. Yeah, well, uh, I was th- I don't can't think of anyone that's done their career exactly how they wanted to do it on their terms better than Dave Chappelle. Didn't want to do a show anymore, walked away, 
You might be right. Took some time, raised his kids, came back for sixty million to do four specials. It's not a might be. He he is right. Which yeah, is why nice. I don't understand why Rory's just saying shit that we're all gonna agree with. <laughs> yeah, nigga, Dave Chappelle did it the best. <laughs> like, give us something to fight about or argue about. No, we just did that. <laughs> yeah. That's why it was edited. All right, fine. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, interest? I don't know anything that's happening in sports, so I won't talk about sports. Uh, wait, did y'all give me New Year's New Year's resolutions? Did y'all give me what y'all are doing different? I don't do that really. <laughs> <laughs> y'all make resolutions? I make reservations. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I don't make resolutions. I make reservations. I'm so tired of everybody. In this. <laughs> Joe, what is your New Year's resolution? Uh, I want to go last. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go last. I want to go last. I don't want to go first. Yeah, uh, oh, so y'all want me to go first? I, I want to go ahead. I don't care. You want to make more reservations? You already said yours. Well, I don't really make resolutions. I I want to like I want to stop. I want to like get out of my comfort zone more. Okay. Like I want to be more mm. uncomfortable in 2018. No, that's right in line with the plans I had for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be, I want to be uncomfortable. <laughs> I wanted to like make- last year. I learned a lot about myself, and like when I, when I, when I, when I step out of my comfort zone, like I'm, I'm pretty good in that area. And for a lot, a long time, I've always stayed did with what I was comfortable with. Right. But I learned that being outside of my comfort zone, I'm actually good in that area too. So, well, what happened that made you learn that? Made you learn that. That I'm that I'm good outside of my comfort zone. Yeah, I tried different things. Like I tried different things that I normally wouldn't, and, and it, it wasn't that bad, and it worked. I met a lot of dope people. Met a lot of made a lot of good relationships. Who you with met? People. Who you met? It was dope. A lot of people. Met a lot of good people. The Kardashians. They're cool. <laughs> yeah, but you know, sometimes you just got to step outside of your comfort. You never know what's waiting. Outside of your comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and give you an air horn on that one, bro. You never you never know what's waiting. That's true. Rory, you got anything? Moles is pretty dope. I don't know if I want to follow. That was pretty cool. UPS UPS ain't email you back yet, man. No, they they email me all the time. I just have to apply. So I think that's probably my So you gotta apply yourself more in two thousand eighteen. Yo, let me just go ahead and give you the black people go to job, man. If your license is good, you can get a truck driver job. (laughs) Boy, don't you gotta go to school for that though? No, no. You just get a truck go get and your, drive shit. <laughs> you gotta know somebody at the DMV, get your CDL, CDR, or whatever the fuck they call it. Yeah, black people, when all else fails, you just go drive a truck. It's got felonies and anything. Just drive a truck. I know that your white privilege won't let you take it there just yet, but by truck February, driving. nigga, you gotta do something. <laughs> uh, I have things planned, Joe. Rory's just fine. Rory's Valentine's Day is about to be trash. Henny Palooza is over with. It is. On our terms, guys we got, wanted to end it. Oh, yeah. we, we ended hey, it. Never know what's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us, tell us what your New Year's resolution or plan, or what you learned about yourself, how you figured out how trash you were. I don't know. Thank, thank you. See, this is this is the Joe I know, not this motivational, this, this shit on your friends instead of inspire them. Well, this I, is why you sound nuts when you try to talk like I, I inspire you guys behind your backs. When I speak real, you wouldn't know. It's behind your back. Face. I can ask when though. Uh, it's happened. <laughs> tell me about uh, tell tell me about yourself. Mad work to be done. So <laughs> this shouldn't have been a long thought process. This is a, a blind date. <laughs> tell, tell, tell me about yourself. Look, I What's your career? Eighteen. We've, we've, I got shit set up. I'm excited. We've joked on this podcast for fucking three years. We've gotten to the point where Maul's been with us longer than we he hasn't been with us. So I mean, we could have a serious moment. Every now and then. We're going to follow this with Park's Apple Watch and how much of a loser he is. So I'm don't worry about though, it. I had to join the club. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, this thing is trash. Uh, <laughs> they, Rory, is that trying to make it seem like it's mad hard to think about changes Word. you need to make about yourself? <laughs> no, I already said I was going to uh, save my money. I was kind of wilding in 17. I was spending a little too much. Five, yeah, be more financially responsible. Uh, know where I'm putting my money. Not wasting it on bullshit. And so you're stay out of them. Stay out of them places, man. Them strip clubs, yeah. man. Them, 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 them whorehouses, man. You gotta stay away from them things, man. Yeah, it's Rory, not good for you. Yeah, man. they're lo- really good listeners. Though. Rory loves a good massage. Yeah, <laughs> Rory's definitely to go to the strip club get a massage guy. That'd be fire. I actually, I'm gonna do that. You yeah. a different type of creep getting a massage in the strip club? Let me I didn't even know that. they offered that. What? 
I'm not a strip club guy. I don't I've, go I've that had often. way greater pleasures in the strip club than a massage. No, but I think that uh, if you walk in the strip club and see a guy getting a massage, that's like super creepy to me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When Perfections first opened, oh, those little side rooms on the side. <laughs> it's such a I know, creep. I, is that what the, the side rooms were on the side? Yeah, I didn't even know there was taping in there until... Oh, forget it. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> they, they were taping in the side rooms. That's some creepy. You shit. cannot tape. What the fuck? You can't charge premium dollar and record the shit that goes on in there. That's yeah. supposed to be like the bathroom. You don't yeah. know they filming until they come in there when you about to take your pants off. I went in there with my pants. <laughs> it leaves nothing to it leaves nothing to discover. You know exactly uh, what we're doing here. Um, what were we talking about before we got on perfections? Anything important or good? We're New Year's resolutions. resolutions. What's your resolution? Oh, Rory's trash. Yeah, you're supposed to, yeah. What's yours? Uh, it's, it's the same thing it's been for the past however many years. Uh, but I think we're really going to tackle it. Just, now, you know what? I want to try to be more inspiring. I want to okay. buy. I want to try and be more uh, uh, joyful. I want to try to, you know, I think, I think the perception of me is off a bit. I think people think I'm grumpier than I am. I'm not really that grumpy. I just don't care about shit. You don't want to be any more Migos hooks? No, I don't care about that. I love that hook. I was mad. I was mad. I didn't hear the puff party. I was waiting. I was waiting to jump on the couch and jump up and down. I mean, aside from that, the song, I mean, I, and I fuck with Migos. I think they make a lot of dope records, but that song is trash to me. I don't really like that record. You know, I, I wanted it to be dope because they was shitting on you on the hook. Like, so I wanted the song to be dope. Thanks. But I think that song is kind of like, eh. It's not that... It's not that crazy. I, I, I agree. But I do, I do like, I, I think Migos are soup. That's why when you was getting into it with them, it was kind of like, they dope though. I, I like what they do. They do, you know what I mean? They stay and they, they don't look like nobody. They don't sound like nobody. In this era, you got, I got to respect that. Like when That's you just sound like yourself and you're not trying to like look like nobody, you do, I got to respect because now everybody want to, they want to sound like, yeah, them. they want to sound yeah. like somebody else. And it's They're- like the Migos sound like the Migos. Like that's their sound. That's their look. Like, you know what I'm saying? They adapted that that bougie, that ghetto look, like that gaudy, flashy shit. And it, but it they make it look good. You know what I mean? And and they and they make dope music. Like so but this record about, you know, the whole it's ice not, tray shit, I, I don't I was, like that record. I was really just trying to talk about the changes that I wanted to make in my life. <laughs> you and said you wanted to be things, more inspiring and you're not grumpy. So I just I, had to go into that. I didn't need you to go on a whole little Migos rant. But why don't like, you want to be grumpy no this more? This nigga walked me into yeah, the Migos Joe. rant. I think it's working. And now he's grumpy. Because I don't think I'm grumpy. <laughs> what? I don't think I'm grumpy. I don't think that's an accurate depiction of me. What do you think you are? Focused. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Wait, what? I'm telling y'all, when Puff, is, Wait. When Puff is next to me, my words have a different reaction. Listen, man. Like Listen, people, people you, don't laugh when I talk. No, they, they laugh when you me. leave the room. That's I'm your fine. friend. I'm going to laugh in your face. This is craziness. Don't Puff, tell me that you think that you're... Don't, don't tell me that you had this conversation with other people. Wait, if Puff was next to me, you would laugh at me still? Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm going to fuck who next right, to you? That's fine. Continue what you were saying. So you think that the word that you've been all these years is focused? Whoa. That's a great song. This nigga just switched it to all these years. Okay, so because you've been grumpy for a lot of years. That's what people say, that you've been grumpy, that yeah, you've been you, a hater. But you know me. Have I been a grumpy hater? I'm just asking you a question. No, I'm not a grumpy hater. Okay. I think you're a grumpy hater. Yeah. Me personally. Yeah, yeah. I don't you're know a little if y'all happier just, now. Are y'all, I don't know if y'all getting the jokes off or-, or No, something. I'm serious. I, no, I think you are. Like, you do hate a lot of shit that you probably shouldn't hate, that you probably should like. Like what? A lot of things. Like what? Certain songs, certain artists. People They're going to tell happy. me what songs I should like. <laughs> yeah, that's because craziness. you know why? Because I can go to another record that's probably similar to that song, and you love it. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Okay. Do it. I can't do it right now. Then I can't you, think of you, the I, records then, right now, oh, but there's definitely, the been some rap, <laughs> there's definitely been some rap songs that's come out that you've hated, and then another artist will put out a record like that, and you love it. I've seen you do it. Listen, let me get back to Dedication 6 now that you say that. I don't... Everybody just thought Wayne destroyed that freestyle. The, I wouldn't say the, destroyed. The one with Drake. I wouldn't say what destroyed. What do you mean by destroyed? Like in a good way or a bad way? I don't know. I, His I, flow was a little I, unorthodox. I, yeah, too. I hit the he group, started, he started I hit off the a group chat and said, hey, what was Wayne? What was going on with Wayne? And then Brandon and Parks didn't even allow five seconds to pass <laughs> before they jumped in. Oh, it was all fire. You didn't love it? I, I wouldn't go that And far. then Brandon came in supporting it. Yeah, I don't know what Mouse is saying. And then I thought, I just felt like an oddball, so I left. <laughs> <laughs> no. And it, then I went on Twitter and everyone was like, yo, where is this Wayne sounds hungry and inspired? It, and I said, well, I'm not trying to be grumpy. 
and I'm not trying to be a hater, so I wait till I have give a more in depth listen to this particular freestyle before I come with any comment on it. I wouldn't say he killed it, but I think that he did his thing. It was cool. It was a solid record to hear, not hear him for quite some time and put out a record like that. It, it sounded like he was he was back in the shit. I didn't think he destroyed it. It was a good record. Good to hear him and Drake together again, though. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. It was yeah. now I didn't hear the project because I was I was busy, but. Did you guys hear it? No, nah, no, no, just that one record. What type of fucking podcast is this? <laughs> we don't even. It's the holidays. We don't, we don't listen we to are. shit, but we talk about it. We have nothing to fucking report on. We didn't listen to uh, anything. We didn't watch anything. What'd you it, think of the context of uh, Drake's verse with Apple and in his situation? Tell me again. Uh, what do what he say? Tell Larry Jackson that I built that whole shit and pay yeah, me. Pretty much. I just that, told yeah, Complex that, the same comes, fucking thing. Uh, I bet it goes different with Drake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was interesting because people were saying, uh, I don't know if you remember Hove's B-side title freestyle where he was, everyone was attacking him and trying to make title uncool, but he's like, hey, we all look the same. Why are we going with Apple? A lot of people were saying that was shots at Drake, which I didn't think it was, but mm. someone can make the case with Drake taking the Apple deal instead of you know trying to work with Hove on that deal. Um, but it seems like Drake is now in that space that he realizes that even though it was a great nineteen million dollar deal, I'm gi- I'm giving these motherfuckers way more money than nineteen million. Let's talk about it. That's the conversation that I have been waiting to have when it but comes that's to what, Drake for quite some time. But that's what Jay was saying. That's why that that's was definitely it, a yeah. shot at Drake. Like he was saying, like, bro, they're not gonna pay you what you worth. Yeah, and and we're trying to make title. They're gonna wave that twenty million dollar check in your face now. But let two years, three years pass, and you start doing the numbers. Yeah. This is the first because views views was what like the most streamed thing mm-hmm. at two hundred and eighty million in like an hour or some shit. Right. I think More Life was one of the most streamed projects. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Drake year. Drake is certainly at the top when it comes to streaming. Yeah. So his value when it comes to that particular market is much higher than just nineteen million dollars for five years or whatever. The fuck All right, is. so let me ask some uncomfortable questions, maybe. And remember, I squashed my Drake beef, so these are just normal questions. Uh do you how do you think Apple deems Drake to be as valuable as we know him to be? Not to his face. Today. Not to his face. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, they know how valuable he is, but they're not going the whole thing. let him know that they th- they no, no, know how valuable no, no. he is. What I'm saying is, is he as valuable to them as we we think he is? They've literally made I think trillions he's more, of dollars. I think he's more valuable than we think he is to the, Apple. If you look at yeah, if the numbers are what they are and it's not fabricated like, at all. Yes, Drake like they is know very exactly valuable how valuable he is. I don't, I think that we're like underestimating his value. The music business is underestimating our value to Apple and Spotify because all of this shit is sold because how easy it is to get music and content on it. Mm. They're making trillions of dollars off these phones and laptops and TVs and watches, and they don't break us off with shit except for some shitty ass fraction of a penny. It's corporation shit, though. It, it, nah, when you're, in, when, when you're in a corporation, you're trying fuck to skim that. down. How do you cut back on paying out? Well, it is. I agree with Brandon. It is corporation shit because all the labels have deals in play with Spotify. Mm-hmm. And that's it. So, I mean, all the corporate players are playing with each other. Pause. And the creators are getting the short end of the stick. So, I feel Jay when he says that shit. Uh, I feel Puff. I feel these niggas when they start talking that shit. The problem is... Still got to have your shit on Spotify, and sure. you still got to have your shit on Apple. But I don't want to detour from from what we were talking about because I feel like this is a very monumental conversation. Uh, <laughs> pardon me. Drake has always spoken big money shit. He's had big money. He can. This is the first time that it sounds like the big money is not enough. That's good. It's kind of where I was in my recent situation that I'll be able to speak further about on some podcasts to come in the future because there's some behind the scenes going on, uh, behind the scenes shit going on. But I, I, I really like this creator wave. Uh, you might have started that on the low. You know, while I won't take credit for it because creators create, no I will say the timing of that little Adidas commercial yeah. that's running around yeah. is a little funny to me. Yeah. It's a little funny to me. And there's a report uh, that just surfaced today with LeBron calling some shit trash. I've seen a lot of trash. I've seen a lot of the word trash being thrown around out there. I just want to make, make mention of that, too. No, it's not, it's not grumpy if a line of shit is just trash. It's you just made trash, trash hot. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
more fucking uh there are also reports of LeBron being behind the scenes encouraging a trade for between for Melo and K Love. Have you heard anything about this? No, I haven't. How do you feel about it? <clears throat> it's not gonna work. Tell me why. I mean, it, it works for OKC. I don't think it works for Cleveland. Only because Melo is still Melo. He's going to score. He's not going to defend very well. He's not going to rebound very well. If he's scoring, he's one of the greatest scorers to ever play the game. But if not, you almost forget he's even on the floor. He doesn't impact the game it in looks, any other it way. It looks that way on, on, on OKC. I ain't going to lie to yeah, you. Yeah, if he's not scoring, he's not impacting the game. And and I think Melo is way too talented for that to be the narrative on him. You know what I mean? Like He's one of the greatest scorers I've ever seen because he can score so easily whenever he decides to go get a bucket but he got to do other things when your shot is not falling that you, you can't disappear on the floor you got to affect the game in other areas wait I, uh, I got easily sidetracked I wasn't ready to get off that that Drake conversation yeah I don't yet. even know how we got into that <laughs> me <just> neither <laughs> my question was what should Drake demand from Apple of course this is none of our business a cut but I'm saying if they gave him 30 million for was it views I want a cut or whatever what should he get I want us all to get a cut he should he I mean honestly he should he should structure a deal to where it's like you know based on his numbers he gets he gets a percentage of that yeah I you can't just give me a cut. you can't just give me a check up front for 20 million because see here's the thing you look at it like well the company will try to sell you like hey we don't know if we're going to recoup this 20 million from you Right, like they can probably say that. Like we're just believing in you from the gate, from the door. We're gonna give you this twenty million because we have faith that we will. But if you're Drake, you can almost guarantee that Apple's gonna make that twenty million back. So now that you know he's sitting back and he's thinking about it, I, I mean, at first when you invite it into the Apple office and they tell you they want to give you a twenty, million, that sounds great to anybody. So you you're gonna jump at that opportunity. But now if you gamble on yourself and you know your business and know your worth. You're gonna do those numbers in your head and be like, uh, I can definitely bring more than twenty million to this company. Yeah, if you're, I'm giving Drake more than twenty million. Yeah. You you have to. You have, and that's the thing. That's why I was going back to what Rory said about the whole verse. Jay was definitely talking about Drake in that in that verse. It's like because everybody knew about the deal. Like all the industry bigwigs knew about the deal. So it was kind of like they're looking at it like, wait, he took that. You know, even further. Let me go even further for a second. To go deeper into this man's train of thought, he then shortly after goes on to rap, or maybe that was before, but that he's trying to figure out how to get Wayne out of his shit. Right. <laughs> Side note. All I, of that's oh go ahead. I did I wish he would have said Birdman and not Universal. <laughs> Kinda that was my only complaint. I thought it was great. I just wish Drake didn't cop out on that i mean I'm, I'm, universal's involved it's birdman Universal, man it's birdman <laughs> not paying wayne but that's not necessarily the truth because their deal is with universal birdman's deal is with universal so them yeah. niggas is and i'm assuming here i don't have any facts them niggas is looking like yo y'all know how he getting down i'm coming to y'all i'm coming to y'all y'all gotta pay this out y'all know what's going on y'all have a deal it's bad business being done but the deal is the deal. So Universal is like, talk to him. They are yeah. involved. No, of course, of course. So I'm are. not mad at him saying Universal because ultimately this falls on Universal. But Birdman has that deal with Universal. Yeah, Wayne I, is signed to Birdman. So at the end of the day, it's like... Yeah, but we don't know the details of this shit. Of course, shit. of course. I'm speculating. And we know it's complicated because it's been ongoing for however many years. Right. And we haven't heard anything and they're still figuring out loopholes to sneak music out. And Wayne is clearly still talented. I mean, I haven't heard the tape, but just from that one freestyle, Wayne still has a lot left in, yeah. the, in the tank. Yeah. Well, that's I, not the question. He's got to get paid for all the amazing shit he did before. And what was more interesting, uh, not to cut you off, and maybe I'm the only one that pays attention to these minor details, I thought it was really interesting that Larry Jackson responded. Oh, what did you <laughs> say? He, he posted a picture of wherever he was on Instagram. It was some beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, it was nothing but beautiful water, see through the sun, clouds, all the shit that you fucking love. Uh, and it was, I heard somebody's looking for me back in the states or something. My phone was on roaming, or it, said, it was something. It was, it was something slick. And, and I took from that, hey, good to know Larry Jackson is slick. Right. <laughs> but that was awkward to me. That was awkward that Larry jo Jackson, at his position in Apple, 
was replying to an Apple artist freestyling and a very Apple behind the scenes negotiation mm -hmm. situation. That was awkward. I'm I hey, I know that I'm I dig deep into shit sometimes, pause. I'm reading into that one. I'm I, I will be keeping an eye out on how this plays out. Because I already have theories about the uh the Drake Apple standing from views and more life. And if and by my theory, Maul, I disagree with you. I think that Apple looks at whatever metric for more life and argues that he should not be paid the way we think he should be paid. I mean, but his metrics are, are high, if not the highest for I know, them. I know, but I know labels hold you. I, I look at artists the way I know labels to look at artists. They hold you to yourself. Mm -hmm. So they're holding him to no one but himself. And by that regard, I haven't checked numbers because I don't know. I don't know how More Life did or is doing. But for him to say that, and again, I'm digging deep into this here and right. seeing shit that may not exist. But for him to say it now and to follow it with some Wayne shit and for Larry Jackson to respond coming off of the rumblings about how Apple may feel about how More Life performed. I'm just real anxious to hear the type of music that Drake's coming with soon because we know he's coming soon. Uh, and I want to hear what happens with that Apple deal. What uh, what, What's Drake's leverage then going into doing a new I'm deal? I'm Drake. Is it, is it I'm going to go to Spotify? Is it? Could uh, be. I, I don't foresee title being something that he would do. It could with, be. with his whole I could relationship, see him going but there. but I mean, does Spotify come in and say, "Hey, we'll you know give you a percentage of whatever you sell"? Listen, the world is going, and let me not say the world, but there are a few people that are willing to try to go direct to consumer. Yeah, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if Kanye's next effort was were direct to consumer. Uh, via app mm. or by way of you know I don't know how you would do it but there's a short list of people that could really get that off on a large scale and Drake is one of those people so I don't think that if he don't get the money then who else do I go to yeah right. he on some shit I would assume because this is how I'm one it's shit you don't get the money I'm doing it myself <laughs> right. doing yeah. it myself uh, and I he could do it himself he definitely could everyone could do it themselves honestly yeah, but it's about the it's about having the balls. Yeah, it's about having the you know everybody could do it. Again, it's risk. It's risk. How far are you willing to go for it? Um, so that's all I had about that freestyle. But again, it was refreshing to hear them, them those two guys together. No more no more new music came out, right? Not that I could think of. Oh, there was a snippet going around of a new Drake record. Oh yeah, I think I might have. A new, a new one. Yeah. They uh, y'all informed me that whatever record that was last week that I was making fun of was an old record that had leaked maybe a year or eight months prior to. So uh, my apologies. I, I don't know. I didn't hear it. I'm so anxious to get back to El Chapo. Let me just throw that in there. <laughs> El Chapo was heating the fuck up. I'm at like episode ten. Mm. Y'all don't care, but because some people think El Chapo is like the knockoff version of Pablo and the Narcos, but goddamn, they are bodying that shit. Hmm. Rory is still looking for whatever he's looking for. So let me get into this fucking uh, other shit. Dr. Phil's being a creep. Oh, you found oh, man, something. Not Dr. Phil. Yeah, Dr. Phil's a fucking creep. He just looked like a creep. Are you playing something, Rory? Or are you talking to us off the microphone? Uh, <laughs> well, y'all can listen to this Kendrick shit. That's what I got Brandon, it on my phone. I asked you for an alert before you start talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear no fucking Instagram it's the worst background audio shit. Ever. Yeah. That's something to do it for me. I don't even know if this, there was one where he was rapping that I saw on the timeline. But it was definitely the same guy. So Can you I stop this? Uh, this is why I, I hate hearing. The party. Yeah. Snippets are... In general, even yeah, if yeah, it's yeah. good audio, snippets are annoying. All I can ever tell from this snippet is whether the drum is hard or not. Right. <laughs> like even That did kind of have a little headlines flow. Yeah, but what was that other song that came out that all y'all niggas loved that I fucking hated that he was trying to get to work? I don't remember it. <laughs> I don't remember it. Well, we had so many arguments in like year one about that song. About what song? It was a Drake song. Was it on Views? At the end of views, oh, well, you, that was, you, that, was they, the, that they was album, pushing. That was the album you didn't like, right? I know, but it was one song, a real silly song, like what it was. No pop style, no friends, 
on that. Uh, <laughs> oh, no new friends. The Khaled record. No. All right, I'm fucking it up. Okay. My memory is bad, but but it doesn't even matter. Uh, yeah, that rec- that drum sounds hard in that record, so we'll just wait to see. Uh, shit, the new years, so niggas is getting ready to drop music. Yeah, I was hey, so. I need the air horn on that bitch. Hold up, turn my fucking clap. I said air horn. <laughs> I didn't say anything <laughs> about applause. That um, kind of works there, though. Yeah, works. The applause. All right, works fine. Out. We'll give some applause there. Yeah, niggas about to drop music. Uh, while we're talking about it, don't forget Highline Ballroom, January 22nd. That's a few weeks away. January 22nd. Oh, what a night. We are doing it. Donnell Rawlins. Open mic. Well, open close mic, because I ain't letting anybody just come up there and grab a fucking mic. But I want to encourage the creators creating. I know that we're going to get tired of hearing that, because it sounds really cliche and trendy now. Thank- thanks, Adidas. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we welcome we welcome people to come in there. Live band, good music, good food, good time. Bring a date if you know somebody. If not, uh, if just sit there somebody. and like some pics, like Maul Maul will do. Maul, this is something you should bring a date to. It's one of those type of date type things. You don't even care no more about anything I say, right? Even as, <laughs> even as even as a, a juggle. What you want me to say to that, bro? Yeah, you're right. I'll be there with a date. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you want me to say. That kind of is what I oh, okay. was looking. Hey, for. you're right. I'll be there January twenty second with a date. <laughs> All right, let me tell you about. <laughs> oh, what a date! How? Cre- oh, what a night is what it's called. Oh, oh, what a night! You're supposed to support your friends, not <laughs> not ruin the brand. Oh, what a date! Um, uh, oh wait, here's some. Uh, oh yeah, Doctor Phil. Let's get into Doctor Phil really quick. Uh, <laughs> I kind of knew something was funny with Doctor Phil. This article for, that I'm stealing from the Daily News just because I was so flabbergasted by it. It starts with. That's not what the doctor ordered. Great headline. <laughs> who, who, who? I want to be the guy that gets paid to do that. That does the puns. Yeah. How do I get into that? That's a good question. I yeah. Don't, I don't know. Because I want to be that guy. You have to start writing things down. Okay. Um, Doctor Phil and his staff have been accused of plying addicts appearing on his show with drugs and alcohol. Former guest, oh, come on, ad that just popped up. I'm not interested. Former guest and survivor, China, winner Todd Herzog, was battling alcohol addiction when he appeared on Dr. Phil CBS show, Dr. Phil, in 2013. He told Stat in the Boston Globe that he was flown to Los Angeles for the show's taping and was sober when he arrived. Then he found a bottle of vodka in his set's dressing room. Herzog said a show staffer also gave him a Xanax so it could, quote, calm his nerves before his appearance. When he went on the show, he appeared drunk and looked like he was struggling to walk. He said, today I had an entire bottle, like a liter of vodka, Herzog told McGraw on stage. A breathalyzer test showed he blew .263, more than three times the legal limit. I don't know what that means. Rory that's would high. know that's, about that's that. That's a lot. Both the white niggas talk immediately. <laughs> they've, they've taken many breathalyzer have, tests. Unfortunately. Uh, anyway. Same. What do y- y'all don't do? What do y'all? Th- that's that, kind of crazy. That seems that's fucked true. up. Yeah. But I could definitely see that happening. I'm not surprised. And it probably d- would make for a better show. <laughs> if we get the alcoholics drunk. Uh, Mona Scott's been doing that for nine word. years. <laughs> and nobody has said a word about it. Now we want to try to bring down the white man. Now... Not rolling with it. Hit the air horn on that. Uh, Mona has definitely been doing some wild shit. For nine. <laughs> when you really think about what Mona has been getting off for the last nine years, that shit is crazy. Mona brought uh, brought Christmas in with me at my house, so don't say anything bad about her. I wasn't saying anything bad. I was just saying she's been getting some crazy shit off on TV. She's been getting some bad shit off. Yeah. Well, speaking of Mona, come on, Rory. My, the hotel I was in in Miami... Had 30 news channels and USA and TNT were both extremely blurry. So I didn't get to see uh, Love and Hip Hop Miami. It's setting up to be pretty good, man. Th- good th- as th- in good or good as in bad? Good as in good. I think this might bring back Love and Hip Hop. Oh, the, the, the Pretty Ricky uh, pretty Ricky battle. They're, they're trying to put a new album out. Pleasure P is, is acting like Bobby Brown. Wait, Pleasure P is on there? The whole Pretty Ricky is on there. You're lying. Swear to God. And, you, uh, you are a liar. What was the girl? Wait a minute. Scrappy's you, ex is now dating Pleasure P. She's on Miami. I don't know any of Scrappy's people. He was there. Uh, <laughs> did you see him on? Uh, but I said at hello. Puffs. I, I did see him at Puffs. <laughs> yeah. 
I said Scrappy something. was I said, at the party? Yeah. Scrappy was at the party. I said party. something. Oh my God, there. everybody was there, dog. They just let niggas in. No, everybody really was there. I but believe wait, Scrappy it. shouldn't be there. Scrappy made no problems, nigga. Are you crazy? So how old was Justin when Scrappy made no problems? I don't think he was born. Who's Justin? Sean? Who's Justin? His son. Puff's son. Oh, that guy's a gentleman, man. Air horn for Justin. Who's that guy, Justin? That now guy, he gets an air horn. That guy is. That, that <laughs> Who's guy, let, let me tell you now something, man. Showing his race from kings. Those, those, <laughs> those young guys know how to party. No, nah, they definitely puffy. Actually, my sleeper today. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. No, that's not happening. That's not happening. We're Wait, not coming you, back from Miami with Puff and playing Sean, Diddy Combs, whatever, the young Combs. We're not, we're not doing that. No. <laughs> Wait find a, a new sleeper. Wait, so Maul, find a you know, new you know sleeper, what's funny bro. About find Maul? a new sleeper. So Maul could be dead center saying, I propose a toast to Khloe Kardashian and her friends. But <laughs> I, I didn't propose a toast, I, You though. did. No, you I did. didn't. Yes, you did. I was at the toast. I didn't yeah, propose it. but in your head, you were fucking proposing. No, I wasn't. In my story, you, you were. You not playing, no the young Combses. Why? Don't, don't do that. Do that in two weeks. Nigga, you're you signed to revolt. You can't, you can't do that fresh off of the Miami trip. Don't do that. Y'all are both signed no, to revolt. No, no. <laughs> Wait, I haven't I have signed not seen anything. A contract. Uh, I haven't signed anything. Uh, <laughs> we are not playing the Young Combses. Shout out to the Young Combses, but we can't. We no, can't play the Young Combses today. No, we got to wait two or three weeks, and then you can play Listen, a record. Puff definitely told me how to get y'all signed without y'all knowing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he did. No, Rory and Ma. Brand new Rory and Maul podcast live on Revolt. They don't know about it. They're revolting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good headline. Yeah, all right. Good headline. Well, Yo, Rory and Maul don't think I fucking sold their rights in this new little sexy drop. No, no Rory and Maul. Yeah, you guys nigga, are my little cousin. Pete. Two mil a piece for y'all. Yeah, okay. Hey, the white people can only sell sell niggas off. Huh? <laughs> no, no Rory and Maul. Uh, uncomfortable race joke. You're a terrible person. Uh, I am, but fuck y'all. Six hundred years of oppression. Listen, all right, let's get to the shits, man. I told you, Puff got me on some black shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was we talking about just now? You was talking uh, about playing. I said Justin. Uh, oh no, my sleeper today. Before you rudely interrupted me, comes from uh, young, a young Justin Combs inspired Spotify set that he that he was playing. Oh, it's not actually one of his records. No, it's not okay. one of his records. I thought you were about to say you about to play his new record. No, 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 no. I got to wait at least six months to show how much of my soul has been sold. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you don't come right back from my. Okay, see, okay, so now you see where I was going with it. I thought you was going to play one of his records. No. Okay, cool. No, Ma, I'm playing a record that he put me onto that I would have never heard in my entire life had he not put me onto it. And this nigga's talking some shit. And it's a nigga that I would have never guessed to ever be talking some shit, but he was. Who's the artist? Uh, Moneybag Yo. I heard, I heard of that name. Yeah. He's popping somewhere. Yeah. He's on the come up. A lot of the new kids like him, like the younger kids. I don't know much about him other than... Man, this song is extremely Wait, so hard. So we doing sleepers right now? No, I, I wasn't doing that at all. Uh, but Maul just uh, bring up bring up uh, Justin Combs, so I just threw it in there. Why did I? Oh yeah, how old was um, you're signed to how, revolt, how, how old was he when 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 Scrap made that song? My point was, if Scrappy was there, I think a lot. Why Mike Zombie couldn't get in? Because Drake wasn't there. And Marissa Drake lied Drake to him. was at the Snapchat party. So who so who was Scrappy with? His wife, <laughs> nigga. I don't know. <laughs> so Scrappy could get in, but Mike Zombie can't. Are you asking me? I wasn't yeah. in charge of the guest list. Who was in charge of this guest That's list? That's usually Rory's job. But Mike think. Zombie went to Tootsie's. He had a good time. He I'm, no, no, no. We not. I'm, I'm talking about who like, was in charge get, of. Trying to make him sound mud. That's no, no. Nigga. I'm not trying to make him sound mud. How did you get me? I didn't. Wasn't trying to make him sound anything. I'm just saying Scrappy could get in, but he couldn't. So who was making this list? I don't know who I, made the I list. I don't know. It was. Some, we need to find out. Some angry woman outside. You would, was, why you wouldn't let Scrappy in your party? No, I'm not saying I wouldn't, but I wouldn't let Scrappy in and not let Mike Zombie in. No, Mike Zombie should have been let inside. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no party. With, there, there was a few people in there that Mike Zombie should have been let in before. Yeah. But that's why I'm at Revolt. Myself now. included. Or, yeah. Myself included. Well, that's why he brought us to Revolt, to fix these types of little nuances. Who brought us to Revolt? <laughs> that's what I'm what trying to figure about? out. Uh, Sean and Justin. <laughs> Sean and Justin? <laughs> Yo. Listen, yeah, man. I signed, I signed more to Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hey, look. It's so. And listen. For the sake of the podcast, I'm not. I'm a chill. 
but it's, it's some shit. It's some shit. I want to. I want to get off right now. I'm, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just let you chill. Oh, I'm I, joking. I, no, ball. I know you're joking. I want to joke don't, too, though. No, no, no. Because okay. you don't even know how to joke. All right, all right, all right. You ready to get but some see, serious? But see, when I'm ready, yeah. No, when I want to no, no, joke, no, no, niggas no. don't want to joke. No, it's over all for your joke. The joke right. is over now. Right, you're not bad. signed to Justin. My bad. Man. Oh, my bad. I love everybody. Happy New Year to everybody. You still rocking? But fucking uh, <laughs> more yep. signed to Justin. Is but funny. and the, listen, no problems. Uh, by Scrappy, I is one of the songs I put up there. There's only a few songs that made you want to fight as soon as you heard it. I've seen no problems go off in in the club, and I've seen niggas get pounded on to no problems, no problems, and Annie up. Yeah. And, how, no, and, how, that, and how about some hardcore? All of that is true. <laughs> no problems. I love that record. I don't think Scrappy gets enough credit for that record, but. I was just saying, how did he get in and Mike Zombie didn't? Like that that's just what, what it was awkward to me. Like, cause it seemed like anybody could get honestly, I feel like every nigga in Miami was at this party. Yo, I feel like it's a lot of hate, my nigga. No, I'm mm-hmm. well, hating why? I don't know. I'm just no when I looked on my it's Instagram, just, literally everybody that I thought wouldn't be there was there. Like who? Did, did you like the picture? It was a bunch of chicks <laughs> there. It was a bunch of it's dudes to be there. A bunch like, of chicks there. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking about random girls. Like, but like I just didn't understand. Like I thought this was like an exclusive, like you know what I mean? I didn't think that this was like La Marina or something. I don't think it was that more. It looked like it. The same chicks that be at La Marina was in there. I mean, you need them though. Yeah, you need a few of those there. Yeah, so I'm let, let Zombie in, man. Pause. I'm That's all I'm saying. Round of applause for more, man. Let Zombie in. <laughs> zombie, I got you, man. Zombie, you can always get into my party. And and next year, after after I fucking... After I do a little bit, do a little bit of work... I got you. I got you. You're in there, buddy. Count yourself in next year. Or ask Maul to ask Justin, and then. Hey, Rory, we're gonna we're gonna get that joke off one more time, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna bury that joke. Man. We're gonna you bury would, that. You wouldn't sign him, Joe. Listen, <laughs> that, I just said that was the last time we're gonna get that joke off. You said it to Rory though. Let it go <laughs> to both of y'all, everybody. Right. That's the last time. Let it go. No more. Nah. All right. Whatever. Is there anything? I'll try next week. Uh. I'll save the Grammys till next week, but the Grammys is uh, are quickly approaching in New York, uh, and I know we guessed who would win what, but I just I just want to talk about them some more because that's a real big deal that they're happening in January instead of February, and they're happening in New York in the frigid cold. We're gonna see how cute y'all try to get this year. <laughs> oh no, it was it was open toes out here on New Year's Eve. That's really? Crazy. Yeah, chicks was out here with their toes out. What did people in New York do outside of Times Square? Bro, I don't know. Bro, oh, listen, I was indoors. Melody was packed. Mm, melody I was indoors <laughs> It was too cold That, was that shit was different That cold was different Steve Harvey Didn't seem to care Yo what did y'all think Steve of, Harvey of, got a check <laughs> To be out there <laughs> Steve Couple Harvey, of million I would have been out there with it For a check <laughs> Yeah fuck it You know what's funny Ro- Me and Rory said that same thing As we were watching From the hotel bar On With the TV on mute But he did look a little nuts They're killing him right now Do, do y'all care about him Looking nuts Cause he got to the bag right Steve yeah. Harvey don't care man <laughs> He nah, don't he care Definitely got a couple million I wear a big white hat yeah. 10 degrees for that I thought you were gonna be uh, uh, Grumpy Seacrest For the revolt stream But I guess it didn't work out that way Grumpy Seacrest What yeah. did you do I didn't even see what yeah, did, I thought he what was gonna be like Hosting on the, the shit like On some Seacrest shit Did you interview people Newports What did you do on the stream You're gonna have to check out The next stream mm. ho, ho, Well you should be on The next stream <laughs> <laughs> I, Yo, I didn't get think, a contract yet <laughs> Uh, you did, <laughs> and you signed it. <laughs> I knew something was in that pen uh, that Puff gave me. Listen, uh, I'm done. I don't have nothing more to talk about. And niggas been saying our podcast too long anyway, so fuck it. I just wish everybody well wishes. I'm glad we started a new year off right, and and I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. That's it. I do want to highlight some tweets that I thought uh, were were funny. This guy, who's this guy? This guy, his name is OG Mello underscore. First of all, anybody with underscores, their name is trash in 2018. Hey, watch your mouth. <laughs> I didn't hear anybody tell Puff to watch his mouth this week. <laughs> You're not Puff. It's only Maul, Sassy, which is Sin. Rory needs a... Yeah, we'll figure this out. The infrastructure takes time when you build an organization. <laughs> so, so what, what do you think? Brandon, don't do that. <laughs> Brandon, don't laugh. You're not even a part of this podcast. Don't, <laughs> don't laugh like this. <laughs> Joe, what do you think you're going to rank in uh, the guys that stand next to Puff? Like French, Red Cafe, Mace? <laughs> That's a good question. Where Where do you rank in the next to Puff list? Uh, I am French Mace. <laughs> who enjoys cafes. 
<laughs> How about that one? Air horn on that bitch. Come on, turn my air horn up when it's aggressive. All right, listen, I want to shout out this tweet from OG Mail underscore just because I thought it was funny. Come on, uh, Apple phone, identify my face. This guy says, TLC made a song called No Scrubs in 1999 and was broke as fuck the entire time. That is pretty much the epitome of Twitter today. I thought that was pretty, pretty I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was spot on. He's been waiting to let that joke off. <laughs> oh, here's one that was pretty cool. Uh, I clicked on this just because I enjoy looking at pictures of houses because I'm into that type of stuff. And then I read the, the tweet afterwards that says, from Glow Up Elite, Pastor's been collecting a building fund for five years. He used the funds to turn the church into his new home. The church is closed down now, but the house looks great. <laughs> <laughs> this is the house. <laughs> no, no, look, look, look at the inside. Look at the kitchen. Come on. Oh, that's a nice kitchen. All right? Wait, look at this yeah. kitchen, Mo. Look. So Pastor's doing shady shit. Yeah. Shocker. That's hard. That's hard. Uh, and it was one more I thought that was really funny that I cared about, but I can't find it now. So who gives a fuck? Oh, a transgender porn star claims Coolio told her to go home after he found out her true identity. A round of applause for Coolio. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why, huh? why is doing the right thing a story? <laughs> like, Yo, you're wrong for pulling your dick out. You're wrong for telling him to go home. Where's the fucking out of bounds, man? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. No, no more. I'm not no. saying nothing. <laughs> Topic over. I'm not saying. I'm not saying one word. Uh, none, none cool happening this weekend. It's still brick in New York. I don't give a fuck, man. I was trying to call out and not do a podcast this week, but we did one. Uh, sleepers. Anything good? Anything? Yeah, I, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play Jag, man. It's the office Dalton Ave project. It's the Dalton Ave interlude. Go get that. Jag, I see you. 2018. I'm predicting big things for you. Pause, man. Friend of the show, Jack. Shout out to Jack. Where does Maul find time to listen to so much music? I want to spend a day with Maul. I don't want to spend a day with you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody says that to Puff. <laughs> He's got to start respecting Jeff. <laughs> They tell me I'm too vicious. Started off broke, the bank account got a few digits. I'm seeing them new digits. They want me to dumb it down, nigga. Lyrics be too vivid. Used to want a pimp, I got a can and a few bitches. Put out the old hoes and went and got me some new bitches. Whole family ball, tell them far I need two tickets. Tell them cut me in and boy, I don't even do stitches. BJ at the roof of me and Pat doing crew visits. Riding from a snot nose, riding through the potholes. No heat, had to sleep together when it got cold. This shit, he the one. It got me feeling like the Knicks when niggas got rolls. Went from bus rides to when the drop rolls. Then I started hitting weights and started recruiting guys. You know how hard it is when you out and trying to shoot and drop. Hunting season, summertime, I be shooting guys. Patty swag, the wintertime, I be moving pots. I just hit up Derek yelling, Mac, nigga. Fuck them niggas, facts, nigga. With you ain't time, and that's a fact, nigga. You gon' have your own bread, boy. Talking rap. Get the rag, nigga. Never let them tell you that you can't cause you a black nigga. Never let them tell you that you can't cause you got tattoos. Always keep a little change on you. You know racks rule. Always be yourself when you be hanging around the white folk. And never be ashamed when you be hanging around your black dudes. Tired of the games. I keep killing Atari. I've been going for the bus, but they keep killing Jabari. Yeah. Oh yeah, I give her that cheap grill and a sorry. I ain't fighting over bitches like me, Mill and Safari. Baby trying to get it in. I say I got us a plan. She don't really like the smoke. I and got us the Zans. If you in the crib chilling with the pots and the pants, block it up and hit the block up with a block of the tan. Yeah, starting things, nigga. I'm talking that muscle life. Pork and beans, nigga. I'm talking that struggle life. And all my girl when it's time, I want the money. Cause the time wasn't giving me bread and I was bummy. I don't ever let the strippers, I be hardly with the ones. And you know that I'm a shooter, so don't start me with the guns. Yeah, I'm balling so hard, I ain't never won a thing my whole life. It got me feeling like I'm Barkley with the sub, straight up. Yo, I'm your boy's rapping again. The bass killing got me feeling like I'm trapping again. Play me, you were losing if you happen to win. The headshot, I guarantee you it won't happen again. Oh no, they jock me when they listen. And now they say my
my punchline cold. Got me looking like I'm Rocky in the kitchen. Get poppy on the mission. Stop eating pork, but still beefing. Got me torn between the Aki and the Christian. Damn. You don't know a nigga spitting this trail. Y'all be remembering the fake and be forgetting the real. Don't you know? Fuck with it. Talk that shit, Jag. That's Jag Dalton Ab into Lou. Shouts to Jag. He killed that one. Talking that shit. Now give me. Let me go first, Rory. Pause. Because I don't know. NBA young boy. Yeah, because I don't. Not NBA young boy. His name is Moneybag Yo. Oh my bad. Not NBA young boy. I think that's a friend of his. I don't know what any of the new rappers are doing now that I'm not at Complex. But now listen, so this is a song by a gentleman by the name of Moneybag Yo, who I was recently introduced to. I've only heard this song in one setting, and that setting was beautiful. So if I play it now and we don't feel it, I'm going to choke it up to that setting. But I listened to it, and he was talking some shit. He was. He was. So this is called Don't Know. I don't know if this is a sleeper or not. This song could be making a whole bunch of noise out there, but I don't fucking know because I'm old and washed. So, don't know, money back, yo. I bought, I purchased this song. I didn't stream it. I purchased it for the lyrics. I did. Congrats. She like, we gon' see each other today. I'm like, yeah, for sure that. For sure. See, we duck off and we fuck off, but nobody know that. Nobody. Got my nice eight in a phone, that's a bitch night. Play a card, smart, smart bitch. A super bitch. freak like Rick Jones. And she quiet, stay low key and fuck. We go by them laws. Go by them I'm lookin' from the rear, right? She didn't know her nigga calls. Who she wrong, but who I'm out of cut? We smash and we out of Raise my calls and raise my texts out of phone. She get me out of her. She tell me how she sick of dude. I tell her how my bitch. She like he won't let her out the house and she tryna get with me. Old square ass nigga, always cur ass nigga. You the type to beat her up and pull her her ass nigga. I'm the type to smash on and pull her her ass nigga. I mean, after we done, I get it fixed cause I'm a fair ass nigga. I'm a fair ass nigga, man. You gotta get her hair fixed after you ruin it. I like that lot. I like when country country she niggas talk slick shit about women. She fuck with my brother. Fuck my hey. brother. We just be linking up and fuck. What else? We keep it gutter. We keep it trail. We fuck with no rubber. Hey. We be on top of covers. Hey. She got a nigga and I got a bitch. We don't tell on each other. Don't tell on each other. Now we ain't together, now we ain't a couple. Don't know what to call it. She call my phone like she my main bitch. I don't know what to call it. Leave from with you and come pull up on me. I don't know what to call it. When we fuck, we do our own positions. I don't know what to call it. I pick up my phone whenever she call it. Don't know what to call it, but I fuck with shout She know we gotta keep this shit here on the low. Can't let my bitch know, cause I'm stuck with shout When we be texting, she send emoji. Water emoji, tongue lick emoji. Hit her back with the perfect dick emoji. I'm like, where you at? Hey, let's get emotion. She tell me about the problems at the house. How she with the nigga, she don't love him. How he want to, but she don't fuck him. I don't love it, dub it, trying to cut him. But she don't want that, she want you to fuck her up. Like you do a cartoon of her. Face down, ass so smack her on it. She want you to toot it up. Telling me how she really a fan of me. She listen to my shit all day. I'm like, where you at? She like, on my way. About to eat the dick in the car, broad day. We just fuck each other. We don't love each other. Feelings, we don't get into them. We be cooling it, we be kicking it. I don't know what the car, what we doing. She don't know my mother. She don't know my mom. She fuck with my brother. We just be linking up and fuck. We keep it gutter. We keep it trail. We fuck with no rubber. We be on top of covers. She got a nigga and I got a bitch. We don't tell on each other. Now we ain't together. Now we ain't a couple. Don't know what to call it. She call my phone like Remember that? See, y'all don't remember not telling on each other. In the screenshot era, oh man. The game used to be so different, man. The game used to be really different. That's Money Bag Yo with Don't Know. And I felt that on a spiritual level. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mood? Uh, you yeah. felt that on a spiritual level? I did. He don't sound young. He kind of he doesn't have He doesn't have a young in his name. Like, why does he have to sound young? He kind of you said he was a, he was one of the new young rappers. Oh, oh, I don't know much about him out other than this song and that he's heating up out here. I know that about the new music scene, and I know that that Takashi song <clears throat> is doing things. Yeah, and that's the new no prom. Uh, you don't want a problem that makes the young kids want to fight. Uh, that's what I got, Rory. Come on, end us with some good barefoot pajama jammy jam music. Oh, well, oh, Jesus. I will absolutely do that. What you uh, got, man? What new Mac Wild you got? 
Smack shout out to Mac. Shout out to Mac Wilds, who, had, who I heard had a really amazing New Year's Eve party. Shout out to him, man. Black excellence. All right, man. Rory. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> you De- are not Devin, allowed to this laugh. This is Devin Tarot, uh temperature. Oh, because Rory loves to play Devin the dude. You never know. I do, I do <laughs> like Devin the dude. <laughs> this sounds Rory. You're sure ready. Turn this up. Uh, I got to let Justin Combs hear this one. <laughs> Maul, don't do that. Please stop texting me at three in the morning. Shorty, if you're next to me, gotta get up in the morning. Yeah. Fuck how I'm feeling now, cause you got it in my mind. Yeah. I was just chilling, but now you got me on your time. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, you don't gotta worry about loving me. Do this shit right here, no repercussions, yeah. All I wanna hear is that you're on your way. Hop in and for Uber, come right now. Damn, it's still three in the morning, though. We in LA, everything closing at two in the morning. All out of options, so you are my option, so slide through. I just want to be inside you. These are the words of a side dude. I don't get caught up on titles, I'd rather sit back and be idle. I need you just the way you need me. I can be your in between kind of lover. Talking about it sometimes, kind of lover. When he texting you, girl, I don't know. Just put it on silent so I can focus. You can even put it on vibrate, yes. But you're alone for working so hard to say goodbye. Cause yesterday, oh yeah. Cause you was iffy in your feelings, yeah. Sick of just playing these games. I'm checking your temperature. Trying to figure you out when I kick game. Go too fast, let me switch lanes. Is she hot? Is she cold? Let me not. Let me know. Trying to figure you out when I kick game. Go too fast, let me switch lanes. Is she hot? Is she cold? Let me not. Let me know. Tell me what's good, baby, I'm right here Trying to feel you out, but you're still not clear When you leave me out here, I go so cold You don't know how much You take me out the zone or you be fucking with me Slow texting me, wonder if you're playing with me Are you hot or you cold or am I warm, yeah Getting closer to your shorty right now, yeah Giving me the run around, yeah Stop driving around in circles Like I said, hop in as if the Uber come right now It's later than three in the morning now this was New York, someone be up and that just kills my vibe We in LA so we got us more time, so slide through I just want to be inside you, these are the words of a side dude I don't get caught up on titles, I'd rather sit back and be idle I need you, just the way you need me I can be your in-between kind of lover Talking about it sometimes, kind of lover So hard What's up? Devin Terrell, Temperature, off uh, the project Weird Nights. That sounded awesome. Sounded like you waited all week to come body me and Maul with, <laughs> with some new R&B. Fuck out of here. Give, give uh, speaking of new R&B, Justin Timberlake announced he is uh, putting out an album on February 2nd called uh, Man of the Woods. Manhood or something, right? Like Man of the Woods. The cover looks a little crazy, but... Uh, the quote is, this album... Is really inspired by my son, my wife, and my family, but more so than any album I've ever written where I'm from. That also sounds like this album is not going to be received well by the masses, but it was at a very important time in my life, so I'm getting yeah. my shit off regardless if y'all like it or not. He's, he's from what, Tennessee or something? It, I thought he was from Memphis. This but. sounds like Justin's Make America Great album. Yeah. If he says where I'm from, it might be some country. Man in the woods. Yeah, this sounds much. like Justin got caught cheating and he's about to sing about it. I don't want to hear from a nigga in the woods, <laughs> unless it's the Unabomber. <laughs> Put a little video out. I don't want to see the video of the man in the woods, Rory. Well, I think it had a song in it. All right, well, whatever. Tell us about it next week. I don't care. <laughs> but we do support Justin Timberlake and Amani. Oh, for sure. Body's your sleeper. So shout out to Amani. And that's all I got, man. Stay in. <sighs> stay in. Yeah, it's the end of the podcast. Well. Uh, subscribe on YouTube because Ax says that's important. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I get all, all my right. I get all my YouTube advice from Ack. Shout out to Ack, man. Oh, I miss you, Ack. Happy New Year, bro. Leave that burning fucking building before it collapses. It's not too late. <laughs> oh, did you see the the Ack Charlemagne beef? 
Sad, oh, sad no, to no. see them publicly going through. No, it. is there beef? Tell me about it. Uh, I listen because I listen to Brilliant Idiots. Uh, I guess. Ack was on Twitch or live stream or whatever and everyone was saying that Charlemagne was a, a snake that he was trying to plot to break this all up to begin with uh, and I guess they just went back and forth uh, oh, oh and there was the Jesus and Meryl shit uh, I guess Charlemagne yeah, tweeted uh, don't bully that. yeah what do you what do you think I don't really have an opinion on their relationship but well, Charla- Charlemagne is a good guy so I'm sure he didn't mean anything malicious to act. What, what I what I will say is that Act is in a space that's not that I'm not unfamiliar with. He's in a space where you don't know people's ulterior motives, you don't know people's agendas, and you don't really know who you can trust. As someone who's leaving the confines of his own home for probably the first time and venturing off and meeting all these celebrities and having big contracts thrown in his face, I could imagine that he has a lot to try to deal with. I think Charlamagne was there early though. Was wasn't he a big act supporter in yeah, the but, early act days? Yeah, but Charlemagne is there uh, in support of everyone he supports early. Mm-hmm. Like he was there with tax early. He was there with like the, he he gets on things early. He does. Yeah. So I don't. I'm not going to hold that against him that he's he has his pulse on things. Uh, well, no, I just think in a, in a trusting manner. Of course, you can't really trust anyone in these negotiations of business. But I think Charlemagne was pretty good to act in the beginning. So well, what I, I, I don't will, think he was being a, a snake. I don't think I don't think so either. I don't think so either. But I understand act not being able to understand certain things. What I will say is in business, uh, both sides should come away with something, though, right? Yeah, that's the idea. So I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with Charlemagne positioning himself to be a better businessman, even if that includes act. I don't think that's called being a snake. Yeah, I don't think so either. Is all I'm saying. I don't know the details of the situation. Me, but. me neither. Me neither because Ack has said that they have had private conversations that no one is privy to, which is how he's come to feel that way. Mm-hmm. He's saying some of the things Charlemagne says publicly and what he has said to him in private don't really coincide. I wasn't there. I know nothing about it, so I'm minding my business. But Ack, that building is burning down, being I love you and I want you to have a good year. Somebody's going to lose their job and this is going to go down as the biggest media blunder in recent memory soon. And I want everybody to have a happy new year, man. And we're not we're not angry at anybody. We want to wish everybody well, positive vibes, good energy. Yes, yes. We, we want to get into all of that, man. We want to thank the fans. Let me uh, thank the fans. Then where's my DJ at with my fucking shit? All right, Rory, say something until I pull this shit up. Can we get rid of my uh, Trey Songs drop for 2018? I think that nah. was the last, last time we needed to hear it. Uh, I saw Trey Songs, and in fact, there there was no hits. So I think we can dead that. Yo, I think we just got a new one. <laughs> wow, wow, that's how Rory is feeling. Okay, I saw a tray and it was no hits. <laughs> There's a little disappointment in the tone. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm say, you wanted hits. Uh, clearly, the drop oh, says man. it, man. This is all, right. all twenty. Round of applause to the fans that have supported this podcast. I think we're coming up on our three year anniversary uh, in February. I don't know because. My memory is bad, but shout out to y'all, man, just because. Happy New Year to everybody out there. We will be back next week. Y'all hold it down. Yeah. Look at me trying to. Come on, applause. I don't want to end with applause. You guys have any ending words? No? Yeah, I don't care about anything. Happy New Year. Park's lucked out. I ain't getting that fucking bum ass Apple Watch. Look, man. You, Brandon, and Ice are losers that run around talking to your wrists. <laughs> We're fucking cool, actually. I had a I had an uh, Apple Watch for like a week, and it was the most useless thing I've ever had on my wrist. And I used to wear rubber bands. It tells me when to breathe. That's great. Oh, my God. You know. <laughs> you know it tells me when to breathe we and are, when to stand up. We are going to need Apple to tell us uh, when to breathe. Speaking of, and I'll do this when I start my alternate universe podcast, what do you think the next, when, when all the humans are dead, who is the next form of life to just oh like, roam and rule the earth? Um, yeah. Well, I think we'll get the, uh, the the robots out of here. So the aliens, probably. I think it's gonna be the aliens. The aliens are already here, bro. That's true. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see y'all next week. Maul's a fucking alien. Hmm.